Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. We'll start now a new lesson. First, Dr. Sab taught us Form 2. Then instead of Form 3, he jumped to Form 4. Form 2 and then Form 4. Why? There's a reason. And that reason is explained in lesson number 18. What is so special between Form 2 and Form 4? We are going to learn, inshallah. Very interesting lesson. Keep everything, your highlighters, your pencils ready, brothers and sisters. I have put here a few extra things for you to look at it, brothers and sisters. We also discussed Mafulun Bihi in uh, book two, lesson number five. Uh, okay, and I always uh, quote, you know, that verb is an action, and then you need a doer of the action, which is file. And when that action is received by somebody, that is your Mafulun Bihi. Okay, no. There are certain verbs in which if you do not use mafulun bihi, then sometimes the sense does not come. Okay, so it becomes important to quote mafulun bihi. Okay, brothers and sisters. And I also told you whether the verb needs mafulun bihi or not, you should ask two questions. Remember? What are those two questions? What and whom? Okay. Not how, brother. You will ask the questions, what and whom. Huh? These are the two questions you will ask. What and whom. Okay. In this lesson, we learn the following. Verbs are either transitive or intransitive. In other words, brother and sister, this lesson emphasizes, this lesson emphasizes, huh? Okay, and introduces to you in a greater uh, detail the concept of transitive verb and intransitive verb. Okay. A transitive verb is called in Arabic al fail muta'addi. Muta'addi. What is this muta'addi? Look at it. Some file from where? The adda. What is it? The adda. Okay. See, adda. Form two, form five. You just added ta and became the adda. And what will be the mudarya? Yata? No, brother. In this, there are no kasras. Form 5 and 6, no kasra. Except when you make ism 5. Okay. Now, see, it is nakis. What is your ism file? Huh? Muta ad di yum. Okay? And then it becomes. Muta ad din. And then it becomes al muta ad di. Got the idea? Huh? Huh? What is the meaning of the adda? To, to go beyond, to extend beyond. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, a transitive verb, brothers and sisters, needs a subject. But I would rather say every verb needs a subject. You cannot have a verb 
and not have a subject. If there is an action, there has to be a doer of action. If action takes place without a doer, then it is a miracle. Only Allah can do it. Okay? But for action to take place, somebody has to be the doer of the action. And that is your subject. Okay, brothers and sisters. I always joke, and I cannot help but joke. Okay, brothers and sisters. What is that? There is a special relation between fail and file. I haven't heard that thing. Okay? Maybe you haven't. When I put my ear to the fail, I hear the fail is saying to the file. What is fail is saying to the file? Akele na jana hume chhod kar tum tumhare bina hum bala kya jiyenge Now when you go to the file and put your ear, you will hear the same thing. The file is telling to the verb. What is the file telling to the verb? Akele na jana hume chhod kar tum tumhare bina hum bala kya jiyenge So say, Mahmuna, the translation is this. <laughs> because some of you do not understand. <coughs> The, the fear is telling the file and file is telling the... Uh, do not go alone. Do not leave me. How can I live without you? Uh, you have to be with me in order for me to live. The, the, the fear tells to the file. And what does the file say? The same thing to the fear. Uh, do not leave me alone and go away. Uh, I cannot live without you. Okay. Okay. But those who are familiar with uh, uh, Urdu language, and they must have heard this song many, many times, you know. Anyway, brother, so file has to be there. Okay? And sometimes, brothers and sisters, fiel and file, they live happily. They don't need anything. They don't need anybody. But sometimes, that fiel and file need mafulun bihi. Uh, they need it, okay? So here we are going to learn, brother. A transitive verb needs a subject which does the action and an object which is affected by the action. Uh, and I say in my own simple way, object is the receiver of the action. Okay? Fine. Katal al al Okay? The soldier killed the spy. Uh, here the soldier did the killing so the word al jundiyu is the file, and the one affected by the killing is the spy. Huh? So brother and sisters, again I explain to you in my own simple way that the jundiyu was the doer of the action, and the spy was the receiver of the action. Okay, and the killing was the action. Okay, so the word. Al jasus is the mafulun bihi, the object. Okay, here is another example. Bana Ibrahimu. Okay, but I put a bracket. Alaihi salam, because that has got nothing to do with the sentence. Okay, Bana Ibrahimu al kabata. So who is Ibrahim? It's a doer of the action. And what is Kaaba? That's the receiver of the action. And what is the action? Bana, to build. Huh? So Ibrahim built Kaaba. Ibrahim alayhi salam built the Kaaba. So Kaaba is your, you know, mafulun bihi. Yeah. And intransitive word, brother. What is the Arabic of intransitive word? al felu lazim. Needs only a subject which does the action. Okay? Its action is confined to the subject and does not affect others. Huh? Farihal Mudarrisu. What is the translation? Brother, teacher was happy. So am I. I am very happy. Huh? Everybody is happy. We don't need anybody else. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> uh, we don't need anybody else. We don't need mafulun bihi. You know. For example, you know, if you say jealous to, I said, brother, you said you are happy. I am happy too. You know, everything is fine. We don't need anybody else. Are you with me? <laughs> so these are the verbs uh, in which there is no need for 
an object, you know, because the action does not go beyond uh, the fail and file. They are together in the sentence and it gives us a complete meaning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Another sentence. Kharajatullabu. The students went out. Khalas, brother. They went out. Everything is fine. Okay? The subject of certain verbs. Now, this is something you must highlight. You must highlight the whole thing, brother. And uh, we are not paying too much uh, attention to its detail now. But later on, in, when you study even further in your Arabic uh, language, you will come across this, brothers and sisters. There are certain verbs, brothers and sisters. The subject of certain verbs affect others, but not directly. They do this with the help of preposition. Huh? The most common example, brother. You need a preposition. Okay. Now, usually, brothers and sisters, when you have an object... It is a direct object. Karatu al Qur'ana. Al Qur'ana. Direct object. Huh? Okay? But sometimes you will not get a direct object. Harfchar has to come. Okay? The, the most common example. Amantu. You cannot say Amantu Allah. No. Amantu billahi. So what is billahi? Jar majur. But fi mahli nasbir. Mafulun bihi. This is what we are going to learn in this lesson. So it's very important and a beautiful lesson. That is why you know, amana billahi. So then there will be some uh, verbs in which there won't be a direct mafulun bihi, but it will have indirect. And same thing is in English. Direct object and indirect object. Huh? Okay. I looked at him. Uh, so brother, I looked. And at has to come. Okay. We believe in God. Okay. This happens in Arabic also. Okay. Radibal Mudarisu. The teacher became angry. On whom? Huh? But then Allah has to come. Huh? So we did not get a direct mafulun bihi, but we got a mafulun bihi by means of preposition. Okay, fine. Here is another verb which is intransitive. Zahabtu ila al mustashfa. But when you say Zahabtu bil marid, then it means I took the patient to the hospital. Now here Zahab, Zahab became transitive by means of Arfchar. Nazartu ila al jabli. I looked at the mountain. Huh? So Nazartu is a transitive, but with the help of harfshar. For man ragiba an sunnati falaisa minni. Whoever dislikes my way is not of me, brothers and sisters. So, here is, I want you to look at the bottom of the sentence, brother. Ragiba fi. Ragiba, you must always use fi or an. When you say ragiba fi means at the end of the page, at the bottom of the page, please look at the bottom of the page. Ragiba fi shai means you like something. Ragiba fi bada hasan means you like it. And ragiba an you dislike it. Huh? So here, harfchar 
change the meaning. Fi, like it, and dislike it. Huh? So that is why the hadith is, فَمَنْ رَغِبَ أَنْ sunnati. Whosoever dislikes my way. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Here is another sentence we uh, studied in uh, lesson number three, I think. Uridu an attalia ala ittala. What form is this? Form eight. Ittala. <laughs> what is the root? Tala. Tala. I want to look at the syllabus of your school. Uridu an attalia ala manhaj madrasatika. Your school. I want to see the syllabus of, I want to look into the syllabus of your school. I want to look into the syllabus of your school. La argabu fi. La. La. Argabu fi, I like. La argabu fi, I don't like. Huh? Suffer. I don't like to travel. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Raghiba fi and Raghiba an. You will, inshallah, keep that in your mind. No? The object of such a verb is called al maf'ulu ghairu sarihin. What is the meaning of sarihun? Direct, clear cut, explicit. It is majroor because of the preposition. But it is in the place of nasab. Fi mahalli nasbin. Please highlight this. The object of such word is called huh? now, the whole paragraph is extremely important for you to revise and understand inshallah. How to make an intransitive verb transitive. We say in English, rise and raise your hand. Rise is intransitive, and by changing the pattern of the verb, we get raise, which is transitive. But this kind of a change is very rare in English. What is it, brothers and sisters? Very rare in English. In Arabic, it is very common. An intransitive verb can be made transitive by changing it to bab. Uh, are you with me? So this is the characteristics of form 2. It will make an intransitive verb into transitive. Okay. Nazala. What is the meaning of nazala? Uh, he got down. Uh, now change into nazala. He brought someone down. Okay. Then we will need bafulun bihi. Okay. Nazaltu mina sayara. What is the meaning of this? I got down from the car. Thumma and then Nazaltu tifla. Then I took down the child. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So Nazara is intransitive. You bring it in form two, it becomes transitive. This process of changing an intransitive verb into transitive verb by doubling the second radical is called uh, I wrote it down. Huh? What is this called? Tada if. Huh? What is Tada if, brothers and sisters? What is that Tada if? It is masdar. What is it, brother? Tafailun. And what is the verb? Da afa. Da afa. Are you with me? Da afa. And I'm writing something else. What did I write? Muda afun. So, what is muda afun? Isam afun. Huh? Something that has been doubled. Can you tell me? Have you studied this word somewhere? 
Mudaf. Mudaf. What happens in fi'al mudaf? Huh? Ain and lam are identical. We get the second radical and the third radical same. Are you with me? So mudaf is a ism maful from the afa, which means to double. Okay? So then we have two letters which are same in verb mudaf. Like hajja, shakka, radda, adda. Okay? They are called mudaf. And it is the ism maful from the afa. Inshallah. Keep that in mind. Okay. Next, brothers and sisters. Bab af'ala. Jalasa. He sat. Ajalasa. You make someone sit. Huh? He seated him. Okay. Jalastu fi safil awwali. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Jalastu fi safil awwali. Wa ajlastu atifla bijanibi. And I made a child sit next to me. And I seated the child by my side. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? This you will always remember. This Hamza, brother and sister, has a name. Which Hamza I am talking about? Uh, which Hamza I'm talking about? Hamza al Kata, which we bring in the form 4. It has a name. Uh, what is its name? Uh? Okay. Because this is what changed the verb from being intransitive to transitive. Huh? Are you with me? Inshallah. Now certain verbs can be changed to both these of verb. Certain verbs can be changed to both of these of verbs. Nazala, Nazala, and Anzala. Tabaraka alladhi nazzala al-furkana ala abdihi li yakuna lil alameen nazira. See? Tabaraka alladhi nazzala. Huh? Are you with me? And what is the, that surah of Laylatul Qadr? Inna anzalna hu. Anzalna hu. Same. The meaning is same. Allah brought down. Huh? In one verse it is Nazala and in other word is Anzala. Got the idea? Hmm. Most verbs can be changed to either of these. One must learn this from books and dictionaries. Do not attempt yourself. You have to check the dictionaries. Huh? So dictionary is a, our Great source of information, brother. For Arabic verbs, we must have the dictionary nearby. If a transitive verb is transferred to any of these two verbs, it becomes doubly transitive. So, when there is an intransitive verb, you bring into these two verbs, it becomes transitive. But what happens if the verb is already transitive? Then it will become Double transitive. Got the idea? We remember that also, brother. Here is example. And it takes two objects. Danastul Lugat al Arabia. Translation, brother. I studied Arabic. Fine. So here Arabic is your Bafulun Bihi. Here the verb Darasa has one object, Al Lugata. Now you say Darastuka. I taught you. Darrastuka. Darrasa means to teach. Darasa is to study. Darrastuka lugatal arabiya. 
I taught you Arabic language. Okay. So here ka and logata are two mafulun bihi. Another example. Another example, brothers and sisters. Samuel Mudarrisu Quran. The teacher heard the Quran. Now Samia is already transitive. You bring this in form four. What happens? Asma. What is the meaning of asma? You make someone listen. You make someone listen. Asma tulabul mudarrisa. Al Qurana. So al mudarrisa mafulun bihi number one. Al Qurana mafulun bihi number two. What is the meaning of it? Okay, what will be the literal meaning of it? The students made the teacher hear the Quran. Or you can say, the students read the Quran to the teacher. Literally, the students made the teacher listen to the Quran. Okay. Okay, brother and sister, this is where I stop. Huh? Because, Ara, Yuri, we have done so many times. I don't know how many times we have done it in the past. But if you want, I will do it one more time. In the, in, the, in the main lesson, we will do it again. There are beautiful verses from the Quran in these verbs. And we are going to study it, inshallah. The rest, inshallah, I will do it. <coughs> now, one more thing I must point out quickly to you, brothers and sisters. Page 78. Number six. We are talking about key. Huh? Key of book three. Page 78. Wallahi. Huh? By Allah. Is an oath. Okay. Now we know that this vow is a vowel kasam. And it is also a preposition. So it will make the noun majroor. Huh? Do not get it confused with vowel at. Huh? Read the bottom of the page huh? later on, inshallah. In Arabic, it is called al qasam, and the statement that follows the qasam is called jawabu qasam. Huh? If the jawabu qasam commences with madi, remember, highlight this, and remember this: if the jawabu qasam commences with a madi and it is affirmative means there is no negation in it huh? it should take emphatic lakat are you with me brothers and sisters so brothers and sisters la is for the jawab kasam to emphasize and kad as we know already it is arfutaki so, lakat has to come. And this you will see in the Quran all the time. But they're coming. Wallahi, lakat farihtu kathiran. By Allah, I was greatly delighted. Brother and sister, kathiran here is mafulun mutlaq. Huh? Farhan kathiran. Just for your information. Okay. We will do it later on, inshallah. If, however, the verb is madi but negative, it does not take the emphatic particle. Wallahi ma raituhu. Got the idea? Inshallah you'll remember. And when I explain you in the main lesson, we'll bring some more Quranic verse, inshallah. The verb amsa is the sister of kana. Are you with me? What is Amsa? It's the sister of Kana. It means he became in the evening. Just like Asbaha, he became in the morning. This is in the evening. Amsa al Javu Latifan. The weather became fine in the evening. Here, Javu is its Asim and Latifan is its cover. See Asbaha. In lesson 17. 
It is very easy to conjugate asbaha, yusbihu. But sometimes you will need an extra effort to conjugate amsa. Are you with me? Do you want to try amsa? Let's conjugate. Amsa. Amsaya. Amsa. Mashallah, now you are very strong. Eh? Amsa. And then amsat. And then amsata. And then amsaina. Amsaita. Amsaituma. Amsain. You know. Tatuma tumti tuma tunna tuna. Fine. Now, little more extra effort. What will be the mudarya? Yumsi. Amsa, four letters. Yumsi. Huh? Yumsi. Let us do it, brother. Let me write it down. So, when I write it down, your mind should look to the sister manas, only looking at the base form. What did I say? Huh? Amsa. You only look to the base form and conjugate. And when you say yum si, you will only look to the base form and use your mind and do it. Okay, brother and sister. Yum si. Yum si yani. Now. Yum su. Mashallah. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. See, immediately you can figure it out. And you know, I'm so delighted with your answers. You know why? To me, it seems it comes to you naturally now. Huh? As if you knew, this, you knew this from your childhood. <laughs> okay. Yumsi, Yumsiyani, Yumsuna. Tumsi, Tumsiyani, Yumsina. Yumsina. Again, Anta. Tumsi, Tumsiyani, Tumsuna, Tumsina, Tumsiyani, Tumsina. Again. And then, Umsi. And then, Numsi. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. So, we are, th this is sister of Kana. Huh? So, it will have Asim and Khabar, inshallah. Let us go to the main lesson now, brothers and sisters. Adarthu Thamina Ashara. Lesson number 18. Amsa, in Arabic you can say, Dakhala Fil Masa. What will you say? Dakhala Fil Masa. You will write it, inshallah. Dakhala Fil Masa. He entered the evening. Amsa means, brother. Dakhala fil masa. Mudaris, kaifa am saitum ya ikhwan? Actually, it is, how are you in the evening? How's your evening? How are you in the evening? Am saina bi khair. We enter the evening? Fine, you know. Well, alhamdulillah. Now the Teacher is asking, you know, Lima. What is he asking? Lima akhrajta. What is the meaning of akhrajta? What verb is this? Form 4, akhraja. Lima akhrajta sabura. Ya Usama. Translation? Why did you take out the blackboard? Adkhilha. What is this adkhil here? Form 4. Huh? Okay. No, no, you got to write down form 4 and form 2. Huh? And understand. Everything now. Madi, Mudare, Amar, everything that comes, you will make a note of it. Huh? With your pencil or highlighter. Adkhilha bisura. Translation, brother? Bring it in quickly. Quickly. Akhrajtuha. Huh? I... Took it out. Akhrashtuha li unazifaha. Nazzafa yunazifu. What is the meaning of nazzafa? To clean. Nazzafa yunazifu. Nazzafa means to clean. Okay. Li unazifaha. I took it out to clean it. Unazifa is mansub. Why? 
There's a Lamo Ta'alil. There's a unhidden there. Huh? Okay. Sa Udhiluha. I will bring it in. Sa Udhiluha. What is Udhilu? Form 4. Adhala Yudhilu. Huh? Bada Tanzifiha. What is Tanzifi? Nastar. From where? Nazafa. 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 Junazifu. Now, brothers and sisters, each sentence has got verbs. Form 2, form 4. So watch for it. Al Mudaris. Ayyuhal Ikhwatu, O brothers. Uhanniukum bi najahikumul bahiri. Translation, brother. I congratulate you uh, uh, on your brilliant success. Bahir, Bahirun means brilliant, splendid, excellent. Uh, Najah is Najaha, master, success. Filim Tiyanil Nisfiyi, in your middle examination. Nisf, uh, interim examination. Wallahi lakad farihatu kathiran. By God, I became very happy. Bihadihil natijati lati balagat nisbatuha. What is the nisbatu? Percentage. Percentage. Nisbatuha, it is 97%. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Balagat Nisbatuha. The percentage was it reached ninety seven percent. Okay, brother and sister, look at this carefully. Balagat, where is the file? Nisbatu. You watch? You got to watch. Nisbatu. That is your file, mudah, mudah Okay. Now, is it very clear, brothers and sisters? We'll read one more time. Ayyual ikhwatu, O brothers, uhanni ukum, I congratulate you all, bi najahikum, on your success, bi najahikumul bahir, on your excellent success, in your midterm examination. In your midterm examination. Wallahi lakat farihatu kathiran. Bihadhil natijata. By God, I became very happy with this result. Which balagat nisbatuha. 97. Are you with me? It means the percentage was 97. The percentage of the result was 97. Okasha. Now this is the name of a brother. Huh? It ends with Tabarbuta, uh, but it is a masculine name. Okasha. Farrahaka. Farrahaka. Form 2. Farrahaka Allahu Daiman Yostad. This is a very beautiful dua. What is the meaning of it? May Allah keep you happy always. Always happy. So, brother, Fariha. Are you with me? Fariha. What is Fariha? Intransitive. He became happy. Farraha. You make someone happy. Huh? May Allah make you happy all the time. So again from Fariha, you brought this into form 2 and it became transitive. Do you have mafulun bihi fa farraha? Allah. Allah is the file. Allah is the file. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Kathiran, brother and sister, is your mafulun mutlaq. Lakat 
farihtu lakad farihtu kathiran kathiran is farhan farhan kathiran huh? that was your mafulun mutlaq okay okay one sisters i think we'll stop here huh? because it's a very big lesson uh, we might take two sessions but we'll do it slowly slowly this is a great revision for you for form 2 and for form 4 and plus you will learn in this so many other beautiful things so many other beautiful things inshallah which will be so very useful to us when we study quran inshallah okay may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. I will again uh, start from the beginning of lesson number 18. Adarfu Samina Asher. We did form two, and then we skipped form three, and we are doing form four. How come Dr. Abdurrahim has skipped form three? And we are doing form two and form four, one after another. And in this lesson, both of these forms are being discussed. So what is so special about it? The special thing about form 2 and form 4, we must remember. Uh, when you bring a fail solasi verb, which is intransitive, lazim, the three-letter verb, when you transform them into form 2 and form 4, they become transitive. Uh, that is the speciality of these two forms. Uh, that the verb which is intransitive in its base form, form one, becomes transitive. Uh, okay. And how do you make them transitive? Uh, see, I wrote down adda. The grammar meaning of adda from the meaning from the grammar point of view, adda, adda has many other meaning. It is to transform an intransitive verb uh, and make it into transitive. So how do you do in form two? Uddiya, uh, it is transformed by doubling of the ain kalima. Bit tadaif. Bit Tada'if. Huh? What is the meaning of tada'if? Is you double the an kalima. Huh? Then uddiya, that is the majhul of adda. Huh? Uddiya bil hamza. By adding hamza, you made the uh, verb transitive. Huh? Adda means to make an intransitive verb into a transitive verb. So this is the main speciality of these two bobs. That is why we are studying them together, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, I will read the lesson quickly and then we'll go in detail where we left uh, last time. Huh? Al-Mudaris. Kaifa amsaitum ya ikhwan. Now the verb is amsa, to enter evening. Amsa means to enter an evening. Okay? And asbaha is to enter the morning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And azhara is to enter zuhr. Huh? Inshallah, later on I will write down a Quranic verse. Inshallah. So, amsa, brothers and sisters, okay, Amsa and Asbaha and Azhara to enter evening, to enter morning, and to enter Zohar time. These two, only these two brothers and sisters can also mean to become. 
When you use it in the meaning of to become, then it becomes the sister of Kana. But if you say, I entered the morning, then it is not the meaning of become. Are you with me? So, Amsa and Asbaha, brothers and sisters, depending on what meaning we are using, we can have file or ism. If use, if you use as the meaning of to become, then we will have ism like kana and khabar. But if you only use to enter, then it means you will have a file. And that we will be able to understand from the context of the sentence, inshallah. Kaifa amsaitun ya ikhwan. How did you enter the evening? Okay. Amsaina bi khair. We entered with khair. Alhamdulillah. In other words, how are you in the evening? We are fine in the evening, inshallah. Lima akhrajta. Brother, akhrajta is form for kharaja, akhraja. Lima akhrajta sabura ya usama. Why did you take the board outside ya usama? Adkhilha dakhala and then adkhala. Adkhil, this is Amar from form 4. Bring it, bisura. Bring it quickly. Usama, akhraj tuha. I took it out. Li unazifaha. Nazzafa, yunazifu. Form 2, to clean. I took it out in order to clean it. Sa'udkhiluha. I will bring it in. Ba'da tanzifiha. But after cleaning it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, what is tanzifi? Is the master from Nazzafa. You're Nazzifu. Inshallah. Al Mudaris. Ayyuhal ikhwatu. O brothers. Uhaniukum bi najahi kumul bahiri. Fil imtihanin nisfi. In your midterm examination. I congratulate you for your brilliant success in your midterm examination. Wallahi lakad farihatu kathiran. By Allah, I was very pleased bihadhin natija with this result. Allati balagat nisbatuha sab'an wa tis'ina bil mi'ah. Write down that also, brother. What will you write down? Sab'an, okay, wa tis'ina. Bil Mia. Wallahi. لَكَدْ فَرِحَتُوا كَثِيرًا بِهَذِهِ النَّتِيجَةِ الَّتِي بَلَغَتْ نِسْبَتُهَا نِسْبَتُهَا سَبْعًا What is سَبْعًا? Seven. And تِسْعِينَ What is تِسْعِينَ? Ninety. بِالْمِيَا Ninety-seven out of hundred. Are you see? Now, sab'an, brother and sister, is mansub because it is the mafulun bihi of 
Balahat. Are you with me? Do you get my point? Huh? Sister Madina, Saba'an is mafulun bihi. Where is the verb? Balaga. Huh? Balaga. Okay? Balagat nisbatuha Saba'an wa tis'ina bil mi'a. In other words, brothers and sisters, if you write number, then it is 97%. Or if you write in letters, then it will be written like this in China. Now, when you say sab'an, it means the madud has to be monas. Are you with me? So where is the madud? Nuktatan. What is the nuktatan? Points. Huh? Now this is to be understood. You don't have to write it. Huh? I only wrote it for you to understand it. That's why I put it into bracket. But you say Saba'an what is Eina Belmia that is understood and gives full explanation. Huh? But you may ask or somebody else ask, may ask you why Saba'an? Then we can say that Madud is supposed to be Mu'annas. Huh? Madud is supposed to be Mu'annas. Got the idea, brother? And if you wrote Sabatan wa tisi'ina bil mia, it's okay. There is nothing you know wrong because sometimes when you do not have madud described, then most of the time we say, you know, the adat becomes mu'annas. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Farrahaka Allahu daiman. See. Fariha, bring it into form to farraha. Means may, may Allah make you happy. Okay? Fariha, he became happy. Farraha, farraha means someone else makes someone else happy. Someone makes someone else happy. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Yudhilu Uthama Sabura. Usama brings in the board. Al Mudaris, brother. Inni, now brother, what is inni? Inna plus ya mutakalab. Ismu inna. Now this is the khabar of Ismu inna. Javvaltu. What is the meaning of Javvaltu? To travel. To travel. Inni Javvaltu fi masharikil arth. Well, Mabari Biha means all over the world. I went to east and I went to west. Okay? But the Rastu, and I taught. Darasa is to study. Darasa is to teach. Got the idea? Darastu fi biladin kathirin. And I taught in many countries. Walam ara. Walam ara. But this, what is this ara? Fail sulasi. Ra'a, yara, yara, tara, tara, ara. Okay? And lam has come, so it is majzum. Huh? So instead of ara, brother, we have. Lam. Lam ara. Felun mudarion majizumun bihazafi harfi illa. Tullaban. And I did not see students. What kind of a students? Ahsana minkum. Better than you. What is Ahsana here? Mansub? What is Ahsana doing here in the form of being Mansub? No, it is Naat. Naat for what? Tullaban. The Tullaban Mansub. So Naat has to be Mansub. So Ahsana is Mansub. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? See, I'm trying to uh, make your mind go deeper into the sentence. Uh, I want you to penetrate the sentence. 
uh, and figure out figure it out why if something is mansu there has to be a reason huh? so how will you translate brothers and sisters i tra- have extensively i traveled throughout the world and i taught in many countries and i didn't see students better than you usama jazakallahu khairan ya ustad al mudarris la lakum ahdartum dafatiran nahwi what is the meaning of this i hope that you have brought the notebook of grammar nahwi are you with me brothers and sisters so hadara what is the meaning of hadara to be present and when you change it into form 4 ahadara is to bring huh? hadara is intransitive when you say ahadara it becomes transitive are you with me this is what you have to watch every time form 2 and form 4 will come you will see that it is transitive and its base form may be intransitive if the verb is double transitive then in the base form it has one maful only all these things inshallah this lesson will teach us and from now onwards we will always be watching for these things naam ahdarnaha yes we brought them we brought them very good brothers and sisters ha tu ha bring them to me uridu an uriya hal mudira how will you translate this before we go into grammar i want to uriya show them to the mudir ha huh? okay brother watch this brother ha huh? i'm not going in detail this time because i think we have done it many times in the past so i will be brief ha huh, brother raa how many mafulun bihi to see ha huh? one change into form 4 this is to see ha huh? and then you we bring the hamza ha huh? Okay, Hamza tul taadiyati. Hamza that makes the verb into transitive. Huh? Ara. Now this actually is ar a. Huh? Four letters, but because of its constant use, it became ara. Okay, ra a mudarya is. Uh, yara huh? ara four letter verbs the mudarriya will start with u and it is yuri it is yura e huh? what is it brother yura e became yuri hamza got dropped ain kalima got dropped are you with me now yuri means to to show are you with me when you show you show somebody that's na mafulun bihi number 1 and something that is mafulun bihi number 2 are you with me ha sister abi hafza so brothers and sisters uridu fine we know uridu arada yuridu an now an is harful nasbin wa mastarin it means our mastar muawwal will be mafulun bihi far uridu and what is the verb uri ha huh? so brother and sister yuri are you with me yuri turi turi uri nuri ha huh? so when you say uri ha huh? or you say yuri فعلون مدارون مرفون بدمت مكدرة. 
We know it, that when we make it the fial nakis into mansu, then we have to add fata. Huh? Are you with me? Yuri is marfu. Make it mansu, yuri ya. Huh? Yuri ya. Now this only happens in five in your pocket. Remember? It does not happen in noon ata hai, noon jata hai. Because in noon ata hai, it comes and it goes. Huh? When you drop it, it becomes mansu and majusu. Huh? So, urid, uridu an uriya. This is very important for us to understand what is happening. Do you see uriya? Why? Because it is nakis. Huh? That is why you have to put a fatah to make it mansu. But it only happens in the five in your pocket. Huh? Inshallah. Now let us look for two mafulun bihi. File is mustatir, takdiruhu ana. Ha is number one, and al mudir, number two. Is it clear? It should be 100% clear, brother and sister. There should be no doubt in our mind. Huh? Inshallah. And we should understand how the verb functions. Okay. Sayusarru. What kind of a verb is this? This is majhul, brother. Are you with me? Yes, yes, Sister Sukhaina. Uh, the Master Marvel and Uriya. Uh, that will be your Master Marvel. Fi Mahali Nasbin. Mafulun Bihi for Uridu. Uh, yeah, that's correct, Sister. So, Yusarru. What is Yusarru? This is Majhul. Uh, what is the verb? Sarra is the lil malum, brother. Look at it. Sarra, ya, surru. Are you with me? And how will I change this now? Huh? It will be surira. What is it? Surira. And it will change into? You, sir, ru. Huh? Are you with me? You, sir, ru. It's majul. What will be the translation? Sir, you, sir, ru. He will be pleased. Huh? He will be pleased. Okay. Huh? Biha. By it. Huh? He will be pleased. By it, kathiran. Mafulun mutlak. Here is mafulun mutlak. Inshallah. Ya amru. Asmi'ani. See, samia, brothers and sisters, is form one. Change it into form four. Make it double transitive. So, asma'a. Are you with me? Asma'a. Yusmi'u, make it into Amar, Asmi'a. Did you get it? Have you got any doubts? I will write it, brother. So. What is the meaning of Samia? He heard. Bring it into form. What is the meaning of Asma'a? He made someone other person here. Huh? What will be the mudarya? Yus me. What will be the amar? As me. As me ni. Make me here. What? You make me here. What? Baita mafulun bihi number two. Did you get it, brother? Asmiani. Huh? Asmiani. You make me here. Huh? Okay. Baital mutanabbi. Mutanabbi is very famous poet. Just like Alama Iqbal. Mutanabbi is a very famous poet of Arabic literature. 
الذي ذكرته أمسي which you mentioned it yesterday ذكرته you mentioned it yesterday now Amrun is saying that bait that's that's poem what is it brother and sister mat ta'anithu lism shamsi aibun wa mat ta'anithu lism shamsi aibun what is the meaning of that brother and sisters what is the meaning of ta'anithu feminine gender what is it feminine gender and and at tadhkiru is masculine gender. So huh? ta'anithu and tadhkirtu means gender. Masculine or feminine. In Arabic language, sun is oneness. So feminine gender is not, is not a defect. Huh? In the name of the sun. Lismi shams. To the name of the sun. Okay. Feminine gender is not a defect. In the name of the sun. Calling shams, mu'annas, is not an ab. It's not a defect. It's not a shameful thing. Huh? And on the other hand, Calling a moon muzakkar is not a is not a matter of pride. Eh? It's not a matter of pride or glory for the moon. Eh? Neither is masculine gender in the name of the moon is a matter of pride. Are you with me? Do you understand the Arabic poem? Walak tadhkiru means. Masculine gender. Huh? And the masculine gender, fakhrun, pride, glory, huh? a matter of pride. Okay? Lil hilal, what is hilal? Crescent. Huh? Moon. So you call moon masculine, it doesn't mean it has, it is superior to, or, you know, in any other way, better than shams. Okay? It doesn't mean that. Is it clear, brother and sister, inshallah? Very good. Now see why Dr. Abdurrahim selected this poem. First thing, it's a very nice poem. Huh? Very beautiful. Okay. And this is the second reason. Kul, say. Atani tha. How will you say? Atani tha. وَأَخْرِجْ لِسَان وَأَخْرِجْ لِسَانَكَ And take your tongue out. قُلْ أَتَانِثَ وَأَخْرِجْ لِسَانَكَ And take your tongue out. Okay. يَجِيبُ إِخْرَاجُ الْلِسَانِ See, يَجِيبُ has come. Huh? Ikhraju lisani. What is ikhraju? It's the file. And this is the master. Huh? We can easily change that into the fail mudharia. Are you with me? I just, I am pointing out to you. Yajibu an tukhrija. What will be? Tukhrija. Akhraja. Yukhriju. Maybe I should write down. What did I write, brothers and sisters? Yajibu an tukhrija lisanaka. Translate, brother. 
you must take your tongue out. Huh? Now, change that into a proper master. Yajibu ikhraju. Huh? Huh? Because an tukhrija will be master muawwal fi mahalli rafa'in fa'in. Got the idea? I'm just trying to revise it for you, brothers and sisters, that we can change master muawwal into proper master and proper master into master muawwal. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Here, Dr. Abdurrahim has used proper master, ikhraju. Huh? That is your file. Ikhrajul lisani. Huh? The taking of, of the tongue. In the nutqi. When you pronounce. When you pronounce. Bi thalathati ahrufin. In three, in three letters. In three letters of Arabic. You have to take your tongue out. Bi thalathati ahrufin. In three letters of Arabic. When you pronounce it, you have to take your tongue out. What are they? Wahia thaw. Huh? You got to take your tongue out. Wahia huh? thaw. Those who speak Arabic, whose mother tongue is Arabic, they have no difficulty. But for us, we got to learn it and practice it. Huh? Then we become perfect. Wazal. Huh? Huh? Sister of Dal. Okay. Wazaw. Wazaw. Are you with me? Inshallah. Azunnu annani. I I think. I assume. Hmm? Annani that I have. Huh? Fahamtukum. See, Fahima needs one mafulun bihi. Fahama will have two mafulun bihi. Fahamtukum ma'nahu. Where are the two mafulun bihi, brothers and sisters? Kum and ma'na. Ma'na is mudaf, mudafili. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, we understand it. Huh? How will you translate? I, I assume, I think, that I have made you understand the meaning of it. Huh? Very good. Naam. Usama says, Ma'anahu, meaning of it is, what is the meaning of it is? Inna mashayyu bi hakikatihi la bismihi. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Inna mashayyu. Now, inna ma has come. In English, the simple translation, translation is, brothers and sisters, only. Hmm? Only. But, but in Arabic, there's a little deeper understanding and meaning. It. Inshallah, another uh, paragraph will come, another section will come, in which Dr. Sahib will explain us in Nama and will understand it in detail, Inshallah. <clears throat> very important to understand, very, very important to understand in Nama. Because it comes in the Quran. So what is the translation of this sister Naima? Are you listening, brothers and sisters? In Nama Shayu bi hakikatihi la bismihi. The thing has to be judged only by its reality. Not by its name. We should judge a thing by its reality. And not by merely name. Did you get it, brothers and sisters? Brother Hassan? Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? The thing has to be judged yes. by its reality and not by its name. <laughs> Ali says, Ya Ustaz, Arjuan Tasmahali bi Zahabi. Zahabi is the master from Zahaba. Yeah. What is the wazan? How will you describe the wazan? Fa'alun. Masha'Allah. Fa'alun. 
Ela Gurfati. Yaustad, I request you to permit me to go to my room. Fa inna bi suda an shadida. Because I have a severe headache. Huh? So, but the inna. Huh? Therefore, this is our futaukid wa naspin. We need isam inna and we need khabar inna. So, what is B? Arfujal. How many words are in B? Two. Again, let me write it down so that it's very clear. B. Huh? How many letters are there? Two. This is your half chair. Huh? And what is this? Isim Majroor. Are you with me? Is Isim Majroor. Huh? When the pronoun joins preposition, the result is Jarun or Majroor. Okay? <coughs> So, very important to keep these things in our mind. Because sometimes B looks like one word, but they are two words. So, this is Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. Khabar in Inna Mukaddam. Where is the Ismu Inna? Sudaun. And what is Shadidan? Nata. Alhamdulillah, you got it. Ibrahim says, no, Mudaris says, Mudaris says, Idhab, go. Shafakallahu, may Allah cure you. Okay? Ibrahim says, Ma bihi sudaun ya ustad. Ma bihi sudaun. What is the meaning of this? This is Ma Nafi. He does not have. Headache, huh? Yeah, In Innama, again Innama came. Huh? Innama yakzibu. He is only lying. <laughs> Are you with me? Innama yakzibu. Now we have to understand, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the <coughs> initial stage that Innama huh, can come in Jumla Ismiya and Jumla failure. You see, Inna can only come in Jumla Ismiya. Huh? We know that, huh? Inna can come only in Jumla Ismiya. But when you put Ma into Innama, then Innama can come in Jumla Ismiya as well as Jumla failure. Huh? And how does it happen? We are going to study in detail. Huh? Inshallah. Al Mudarris, brothers and sisters. He says, Wama Adaraka Annahu Yakzibu. Now this verb comes in the Quran all the time. About fourteen times it has come in the Quran. Adaraka. Huh? What is the verb, brother? Uh, what is the verb? The verb is Adra, like that. From Dara, it became Adra. See, that is the Adra and Yudri. Huh? Yudri. What is the meaning of? To, to inform someone. Huh? To inform someone. And Ka is your Mafulun Bihi. Huh? Ma Adra, see how? The ya change into alif because you attached a pronoun to it. Huh? And what will inform you that he is lying? Huh? And what will inform you? Or what made you understand like this? Or, or you can say, how do you know? How do you know that he is lying? What is the answer? Adunnu. What is the meaning of Adunnu? I guess. I'm guessing. Huh? I'm only guessing. Okay. Then Mudar is saying, Iyaka 
وَزَنَّ إِيَّا إِيَّا In this particular case, huh? not always. In this particular case, it is ismu fial. What is it? Ismu fial amrin. Huh? Only in this case. Okay, when it will come like this, then what is the meaning of it is? Be far away. Be far away. Huh? Be far away. Iyaka, here means you. Okay, so Iya in this particular situation is Ismu Fial Amr. Be far away. Huh? And then, but the vow will come. And then Mafulun Bihi will come. Are you with me? So, we have to understand like this, brothers and sisters, that this form of expression, what did I say? This form of expression in Arabic, you know, Iya, Ka, or Ki, or Kum, or Kunna, or Kuma, you can use it with Iya, and the meaning will be, be far away. Stay away. Be far away. Stay away. Okay? From what? And that will be after war. And it will be mansub. This much explanation should suffice. But stay away from this. Then you can use it. But it will only be in the second person. When it will be? When you are addressing someone in front of you. Okay? We will get a lot of examples. Huh? So here, first the mother is saying, Iyaka wa zanna. Stay away from guessing. Be far away from guessing, Ya Ibrahim. Fakad the call and Nabiyu. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said. What has he said? Iyakum, see? Iyakum wa zanna. So after a while, the noun came and it is Mansu. Are you with me? Iyakum wa zanna. What is the meaning of this? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is addressing all of us. Stay away from guessing. Okay? Why? Because fa inna zanna akzabul hadisi. Guessing is the most false speech. It can become. Huh? Brother, akzabu is superlative degree. Huh? Is, is falsest speech. You guess something, it can be a false statement. Okay? Are you with me? For in zanna, it can be the most false hadith. What is hadith? Your talk or your speech. Waqala Azza wa Jal, brother. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying huh? in the Quran. Surah Hujrat, ayat number 12. In Bada Zanni, it's moon. Huh? That some of your guessing is a sin. You got the idea? People always assume something about somebody, brother. That assumption can be a sin because you are sometimes saying some things which are not correct. It can amount to lying things about somebody. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So we have two examples. Uh, one is from the sayings of Prophet وسلم, that how iyaka, iyakum, iyaki can be used. Ajib anil asilati lahatiyati for you to do it. Will you be able to make an attempt and do it? Or have you done it? Inshallah you'll do it. Huh? What shall I say? You must do it. You must do it. Huh? 
if you whenever you find time and if you haven't done any of the previous one when you read the lesson you should try it huh? what will happen it will make you strong huh? it will make you strong inshallah <clears throat> now we come to the <clears throat> important discussion about fi'l lazim and fi'l mutaaddi <clears throat> yankasimu what is this verb brother yankasimu form form 7 what is maadi in kasama huh? form 7 huh? to divide to split huh? to separate to partition the fi'l is divided huh? there is the file of yan kasimu al fi'l that is your file huh? bi etibari what is now brother this etibar form 8 form 8 ha etibara yatabiru to consider to regard so what is the meaning of this sentence yan kasimu al fi'l bi etibari ma'nahu ila mutaaddin wa lazim the fi'l is divided according to its meaning are you with me with regards to its meaning huh? either it is lazim or it is huh? mutaaddi either it is transitive or it is intransitive according to its meaning the fi'l is divided into these two groups okay fal mutaaddi ya mutaaddi but look at the verb Huh? Look at the verb. What is it? Mutaaddi. Mutaaddi. Form. Form five. Form five. And what is mutaaddi? Isam five. Now this also we must understand, brother. See, I feel like going deeper into the verbs. Huh? I enjoy going deeper into the verb. and it gives you then <coughs> deeper meaning brother okay adda what is adda huh? to transform okay make it into five form from adda the adda huh? adda form two make it into form five how will you make it the adda What is the meaning of the adda? To be transitive, to to be transitive, to become transitive. The adda. What will be the mudariya? Yata adda. Huh? Yata adda. Remember form five. Everything fata fata fata. Make it now. A sum five. Ah, huh? mata ad then huh? only in form five and five form six you give a kasra when you make it into isam five. Otherwise, there are no kasras there. So mata ad then, or if you put alif lam, mata ad. di Are you with me mutaaddi ha huh? okay so when you say al mutaaddi means transitive it is transitive now it is the explanation of the what is the transitive word what is ma here allazi huh? it's not ma nafi but it is ma allazi are you with me you write it down right? but otherwise you may get confused fal mutaaddi so mutaaddi allazi tajawaza what kind of a verb is this form 6 form 6 ha tajawaza form 6 what is meaning of tajawaza 
to extend beyond, huh? to pass beyond. But write down extend beyond. Got the idea? Tajavaza is form six to extend beyond. Hadathuhu. Huh? What is the meaning of hadathu? Effect. Huh? Effect. Huh? Not defect. Huh? Effect. Asar we say, you know. So the, the transitive verb is the one whose effect extends beyond the file. And it goes to the mafulun bihi. You understand, inshallah? Okay. See, the file is mafulun bihi here. In this particular case, because hadathu is your file. Huh? The effect of it extends beyond the file to mafulun bihi. Means the effect of it extends beyond the subject and it goes to the object. Fine. That's it, brother. And I say in my very simple explanation, brothers and sisters, that whenever there is a verb, file is there. But sometimes the action, which is the verb, and the file is the doer of the action, huh? and then the action is received by somebody. Are you with me? There is a doer of action and receiver of action. Now this is my very simple way of, sometimes I explain like this, you know. But if it helps you, alhamdulillah, you know. So, I ate an apple. So what is the action? Eating. Who is the doer of action? I. Who received the action of eating? Apple. You got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. Huh? Bana Ibrahimu. Brother, alayhi salam, put it in the bracket because this is a parenthetical sentence, you know. al kabata So the action of building, uh, Bana is to build. Uh, who was the doer of the action? Ibrahim. And who received the action? Kaaba. Or you can say the effect of Bana extended beyond the file and went into Mafurum Bihi. Uh, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Wahua yahataju ila file. Ya fa'aluhu. It needs a file. The action needs the file to do the action. Wafulun bihi yaka'u alayhi. What is yaka'u? What is the verb in the Mahdi? Waka'a. Waka'a means to fall, and waka'a also means to happen. In this case, it will be happened. Huh? That it happens on it, which is mafulun bihi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Wa alamatuhu, and the, what is the sign of it? And yakbala, it accepts. Ha'a, remember? Ha'a damiri, the pronoun ha. Okay? Allati. Ta'udu ila mafulun bihi, which then returns to the mafulun bihi. Now this sentence, brothers and sisters, wa ala matuhu an yak bala ha damiri allati ta'udu ala mafulun bihi is explained in this way, brother. Kara'a talibu darsa. Kara, he read, read what? Darsa, fine. Wa fahimahu. Now you see, Fahima accepted the Damir. Who? Where does it return to? It returns to Darsa, which is Mafulun Bihi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Fahima got a Damir Ha attached to it. It accepted it. And that who returned to the Mafulun Bihi Darsa. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Ra'aytu hasharatan. 
Thama. I, I saw a poisonous insect. Okay, brothers and sisters. And what did I do? Hasharatan is insect. Bagh. What did I do? Pa kataltu ha. Where does this ha return to? Hasharatan. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Which was mafulun bi. There is another sign of a fear being mutaaddi, transitive. That it will accept uh, the damir ha. But then you cannot have jalasa with damir ha or, or zahaba because those are intransitive. Okay, next one, brother and sister. Wallazimu, an intransitive. Ma la. Huh? What is ma again here? Allazi. Huh? Allazi. Ma la yata'adda asruhu fa'ilahu. The asar of it. No, before it was hadathu, now it is asaruhu. Huh? It does not extend beyond the fa'il. That's all. I told you, brother. Ta'adda, to extend beyond. So the asar of it, the effect of it, does not extend beyond the file. Kharajatullabu. Students went, fine brother. The fiel and file are happy. They can live happily ever after. <laughs> okay. Wafariyal mudarisu. The teacher became happy, good. The, when the teacher becomes happy, everybody is happy in the class. La yahtajul fi'alu, the fi'al does not need. Al fi'alu lazimu, this is your nath. Ila mafulun bihi. Brother, I forgot to ask you. Yahtaju, what is the verb? Form 8. Ihtaja. Yahtaju, ihtaja, yahtaju. In this particular verb, the conjugation is a little tricky, brother. Eh, ta. This is your maadi. What is your maadi? Maadi is ihtaja. And what will be the mudariya? Yah, ta, ju. You have to understand this. Eh? In this form 8, this kind of a verb, and we will come across several of them. Ihtaja, yahtaju. Ikhtara, remember? Ah. If you remember, ikhtara, what will be mudarya? Yahtaru. Yahtaru. Okay? Ihtaj, ihtaj, and a very common word in Urdu, mahtaj, is from this, okay? Okay, well, brothers and sisters? Necessary. necessary. Now remember, ihtaj will always have harf char after it. And what will be that harf char? Ela. Write it down, brother. Ihtaj will always, always have a harf chair. Okay? Ela. Hmm? Says the Sumaya. You, whenever you will use the verb ihtaj, you will have to use the ela after it. Huh? Okay? Does it come in this sentence? La yahtajul fialu lazimu. Ela. Al-Mafool will be here. Very good. Now, this is the most important thing that you will have to understand, inshallah, and highlight it. Huh? Very important thing that we are understanding now. Huh? Highlight it. Huh? What is it, brother? Kad yata'adda Kal yata'adda al-fi'lu lazimu the intransitive verb uh, becomes, Qad means, brother, maybe. Uh, see, Qad has come up before fail mudarya. When the Qad comes before fail mudarya, 
then it is not harfu tahqiq. When shayad, when tad comes after fail madi, sister mayuna, then it is harfu tahqiq, certainty. When it comes, tad comes before mudharia, then it is maybe. Huh? Maybe. It means sometimes. Okay? The fail which is intransitive, the fail which is intransitive can become transitive. Be vasitati. What is the meaning of vasitati? Vasitatun means means, by means of. Are you with me? By means of Hafchar. So this is what you will highlight and try to understand, brother. Tad yata addal fi'alul lazimu bi wasitati harfi jarren. By means of harf jar. Now look at this example, brother. What is the example? First example. Gadi bal mudarisu. What is the translation? The teacher became angry. He must have got angry on somebody. Huh? So Allah has to come. Ghadaba Allah. Are you with me? Alad Talibil Kaslani. So brother, is Gadiba transitive or intransitive? Transitive. Bivasitati Hafchar. Are you with me, Sister Madina? Next example, brother. Now Zahabtu Ilal Mustashfa. I went to the Mustashfa. Now if you use Zahabtu with Harfjar B, then the meaning changes. That you took someone to the hospital. Are you with me? So here is Zahabtu bil Marid. Means you took a patient to the hospital. Now here Zahaba became transitive. Bivasitati harfchar. Brothers and sisters, Ela is also harfchar. But then Ela does not make Zahaba transitive. But only B will make it transitive. Fine, brother. Then sister. Nazartu. I looked. Looked at what? Elal Jabali. So, brother, is it transitive? Yes. How did it become transitive? Bivasidati Hafcha. See, when you say I looked, the meaning is not complete. Where did you look? What did you look? Then you have to say Ela. Very good. Now, this is a beautiful hadith. Kala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa man raghiba an sunnati. I have explained to you, brother. Raghiba fi means you like something. Raghiba an means you dislike something. Huh? So, what is the meaning of this? Okay, this is Jumla Shartiya, brother. Huh? What is man? Ismu shart tajizimu fi alayhi. Where is the fialu shart? Ragiba, Fairun Madim, Mabnun Ala Fata, Fi Mahali Jasmine, Fi Alushat. Very good, brothers and sisters. An Sunnati. So, whosoever dislikes my ways, huh? okay. An Sunnati. How many words are there? An is Harfcha, Sunnati is Ism Majrul, Wahua Mudaf, and Ya Mutakalim. Mudafilehi. Falaisa minni. Oh, brother, what is this? Falaisa minni. Okay, but how will you say alfa'u vaqiyatun fi jawabishat? Fine. Laisa. Fe'lun madin jamidun. Jamid, okay. Where is the ismu laisa? Mustatil. Takdiru huwa. And what is minni? Jar majru. Shibu jumla. Khabar laisa. Now you will define it. What will you say? Al Jumlatu Fialiatu Fi Mahali Jasmin Jawabusha. Alhamdulillah. You got it, huh? Inshallah. We will keep on practicing. Huh? And even when we study Quran, we will practice it. And you will become what shall I say? Experts. Inshallah. You will become experts, inshallah. Falaisa Minni means he is not from me. Ya huh? Mutakalam. He is not from me. 
أريد أن أطلع على منهج مدرستك what is the translation I want to be acquainted or I want to know the curriculum of your school ok so اطلعه what form is this it is form 8 alhamdulillah you got it اطلعه huh? is to get acquainted to know to become aware of it so here brothers and sisters always always ittala ala i would ask you to even highlight half chap or underline it or put it into circle to remind you that this half chap has to be used after the verb hmm? whenever you see a transitive verb uh, becoming or is has become transitive viva sitati half chair you must make note of that half chair uh, inshallah okay what's the next one brothers and sisters la arghabu raghiba yarghabu fi to be interested to like something uh, لا أرغب في السفر. What does it mean? I don't like to travel. What is the meaning of it? I don't like traveling. Huh? Because لا came. If you say أرغب في السفر means I like traveling. Huh? I like traveling. هذا الأسبوع. هذا is your zarf. نائبان zarf. And what is أسبوع? بدل. After Haza. Okay? It came after Haza. So, La Argabu, I don't like. Because Argabu is followed by Fi, which, which means I like. But when you put La, I don't like. Hmm? Traveling this week. Hmm? Or in English, we'll say, I don't like to travel this week. But you summa, what is you summa? Majhul, summa you summi. Now summia you summa. You summa mafaulu mifli hadal fiel. But what is mafaulu? Naif file. But who are mudaf and misli? Mudafilihi. And who are mudaf and haza? Mudafilihi. And what is fairly? Badal. 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 Hazakim. Huh? Huh? What is it called? Yusamma means it is called. What is it called? Gaira Sarihin. What is Badal? Sarihun. Explicit. Straightforward. And this is not explicit. Inexplicit. It is not straightforward. This Mafulun Bihi is not direct. What do you call it in English? Indirect Mafulun Bihi. What do you call it? Indirect mafulun bihi. Okay? Now look at it. This is the line you got to highlight. This is the gist. This is the cream. Huwa majroorun lafzan. Biharfi jab. Huwa majroorun lafzan. Huh? What is the meaning of lafzan in pronunciation only? Biar fichar. Mansubun mahlan. In its real places, mansub. Ala annahu because, ala annahu means because, mafulun bihi, gairu sarihin. Gairu sarihin means indirect, not explicit, not straightforward. This line has to be highlighted, underlined, and understood well, inshallah. Mayyiz, specify. Mayyiz al-lazima min al-muta'addi fi mayali. In what follows, huh? specify. This is a very beautiful exercise. I want you to score 100% out of this. Huh? Okay. 
שסר אבסה, ג'ש ראול מודר ריסול דרסה, מרתיים, פאסט טרנסליישן. The Mudaras explains the Dars twice. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Is, where is the verb? Yashrahul. Is it Lazim or Mutadi? Mutadi. Where is the Mafulun Bihi? Adarsa. Clear cut. Huh? Sister Abir. Dahikat Tullabu. Translation Dahikat Tullabu. What is Tullabu? Students. File. Huh? Translation? The students laughed. What is it? Dahika tullabu, the students laughed. Is dahika transitive or intransitive? Lazim or mutadi? Lazim. Not transitive. Intransitive. Huh? It is intransitive. So what will you say in Arabic? Lazim. Huh? It does not need buffer. The students laughed. Fine. They laughed, you know. Okay, Sister Sukhaina, Raja Abi Al Bariha. It's Lazim. Huh? Raja is always Lazim. Huh? Sister Naima, Hafistu. Hafistu al Quran. Wa ana sagirun. Translation I memorized the Quran when I was young. Now, this is Wawul Hal. While I was young, this is Baul Hal and Jumla Halia. Fine. Half is two. Where is the file? Two. Is this verb Lazim or Mutaddi? Why? Do you have a Mafulun Bihi? Do you? Yes, we have a Mafulun. Where is it? Al Quran. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Brother Hassan? Brother uh, Muhammad? Brother uh, Haider Ali, you got it, inshallah? Okay, fine, brother. Sister Sumaya, Ijli Suna. Lazim, this is Lazim. We know that it is. Jealousy is Lazim. Okay. Sister Aisha. Mutahaddi, huh? See, Fataha is Mutahaddi. Iftahil Baba. Okay, next one. Wa agrilikin nawafiza. Is it lazim mutahdi? Mutahdi, mashallah. See, now you can see it huh? and feel it. Huh? But form two and four, most of them, most of them will always be mutahdi. Huh? Okay. Okay, Sister Maimuna. Amar Allahu Ta'ala Ibrahima. Mutahaddi, eh? Amara is mutahaddi. Very good. Alayhi salam bi zabhi ibnihi. Ismaila. What is Ismaila? Ji? Badal. What is it? Badal for ibni. Got the idea? Are you with me? Eh? Ismail here is the badal for ibni. Eh? Alayhi salam. Okay, Sister Nasrin, you got a very easy one. Nama Tiflu. It is Lazim. Huh? Okay. Sister Mainaz. Kumtu. Mutaakhiran. So, Kumtu Min. Ita Mutaaddi. Bi Vasitati. Harshan. Mashan. Nusrat. Very nice word. Nabudullah. Wala nushriku bihi shay'an. So what is Nabudu? Mutadi. Nabudu. Where is the mafulun bihi? Allah. Allah. Very good. And nushriku. What form is this? Form four. Huh? Ashraka yushriku. So what is the meaning of it? We worship Allah. And we do not associate with him anything. Wala nushriku bihi shay'an. Another mafulun bihi. So both of them are muta'addi. Sister Madina. Lam aqul shay'an. Muta'addi. Okay. Sister Rahima. Taibal ummalu. 
لازم the workers became tired sister gulshan rahabtu biddu you first tell me the translation rahabtu rahaba is to welcome huh what is it to welcome to greet huh so i greeted greeted whom do you so this is mutaaddi biwasitati har feature got the idea okay with do you what will you say with do you majroorun lafzan ha wa mansubun mahalan inshallah you you say like that ha very good got the idea brothers and sisters alhamdulillah next verb is important verb what is the verb yasirul fi'lu what is the madi sara no brother sara yasiru sara is the sister of tana what is the meaning of sara to become to become ha huh? sara yasiru is the sister of tana sara is to become very important verb brother yasiru fi'lu lazim mutaddiyan important thing to highlight and underline ha huh? yasiru al-fi'lu al-lazim mutaaddiyan translation brother the fi'l lazim becomes mutaaddi the intransitive verb becomes transitive okay brother yasiru is fi'lun mudhari'un narkisun ha huh? okay where is the ism of yasiru al-fi'l and what is lazim na Oh, where is the khabar of yasiru? Mutaaddiyan. Do you see mansu? Mutaaddiyan. Very good. Be naklihi by shifting it. What is the meaning of nakal? To shift something, huh? or transform something, or even transport. But we say shift. Okay. Ela babai. What is babai? Babai. Do you have? Huh? Okay, where is the noon? Has it, why? Because it is coming as a mudaf. Remove everything. Uh, so will you say ila babaini? What will you say? Ila babaini. Now bring everything back. Then you have to drop the noon. Hmm? See, ila harf char, uh, babai. اسم مجرور و علامة جرّه الجاو لأنه مثنى وهو مضاف and أفعل مضاف له and فعل كما يتديه من الأمثلة الآتية as it is made very clear from the following example okay بذا كما يتديه What is this, brother? Form eight. Huh? Brother, now we got to make some rules, you know. Huh? You make a mistake. One dozen samosas. Huh? Okay. Yatta dihu itta daha. Huh? What is the root? Wadaha. Huh? Wadaha. Mashallah. Mashallah. Your answers delight me. Make me very happy. Alhamdulillah. May Allah. Bless you all and all of us, inshallah. May Allah bless us all with more knowledge, inshallah. See now there is a there are two sentences. In one sentence, you have a fiel sulasi mujarrat, which is intransitive, and in the other, it is transitive. Okay, one is lazim, and other becomes mutaaddi. And if the fail sulasi is already mutaaddi, then it becomes double mutaaddi, huh? double transitive. Huh? Watch for it, brothers and sisters. Kharaja hamidun min al fasli. Now this whole exercise is of extreme importance. Huh? And later on, there is another exercise in which you will be using or making your own sentences, one with lazim verb. 
and changing the same into form 2 or 4 and making your sentence with transitive mutaddi verbs, inshallah. So, what is kharaja hamidun? This is jumla failure, but the verb is lazim. Huh? Hamidun is the file, min al fasli. Now, change that kharaja into form 4 and it becomes akharaja. Huh? Now, but this is in Quran, it comes all the time. Akharajal huh? mudarisu hamidan min al fasli. So Hamidan became Mafulun Bihi. Nazal al Jarihu min Sayaratil Isafi. What is Isaf? Ambulance. Sayaratul Isaf means ambulance. The wounded person got down from the ambulance. Are you with me, brother? Now, he is too sick to get out, or he's too wounded huh, to get out by himself. So what happens? Anzalal mumarriduna. What is mumarriduna? Male nurses. Mumarriduna, mumarriduna, male nurses. Anzalal mumarriduna al chariha. Are you with me? Anzal al mumarridun al jariha. Min sayaratil isafi. Translation, brother? Nurses brought the wounded person down. Jalasat talibul jadidu amamal madarrisi. Translation, brother? The new student sat in front of the teacher. Are you with me? Brother Hassan, you translate the next one. Ajlasa, ajlasa al mudarrisu talib al jadida amamahu. The new student. Mashallah. The, the teacher made the new student sit in front of him. Got the idea, brother? So in the first form, jalasa is intransitive. Then ajlasa, it became transitive. Kharaja, intransitive. Akhraja, transitive. Nazala, intransitive. Anzala, transitive. Very good, brother. Now we are doing form two. Nazala teflu minataira. Translation, brother Muhammad, translate this, brother. Well, play. Oh, yeah, we well, got it, brother. Now you translate the other one. Nazaltu tifla. No, I, Nazaltu, I brought down the child. Uh, are you with me? Nazaltu means I huh? <laughs> brought the child uh, down from the airplane. Very good, brother. Now, brother uh, Haider Ali. Namal maridu. What will you say? Namal maridu. The sick person went to sleep. Went to sleep. Are you with me? Fine. Now, nawama. See, nama became nawama. Nawama dawau al marida. The medicine put the the sick person to sleep. Are you with me? Somebody made the, the sick person to go to sleep. So what was that? Navamat Dawao. The medicine put the sick person to sleep. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Another nice sentence. These are such beautiful sentences. I wish if you had time, you will even write them down. On your own to practice it, or to say it few times. Naja, what is the meaning of naja? What kind of a verb is this? Nakis. What is the root of naja? Najava. Eh? This is this is a nakis al wabi. 
Naja, Mudarya, Yanju, Da'a, Yada'u. Fine. What is the meaning of Naja? To escape. Huh? To escape or to become safe. Or to be safe. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Rukkabu. What is Rukkabu? Passengers. This is plural. What is singular? Rakibun. Huh? Okay. Rukkabu. Sayarati. The passenger of the car became safe. Or they were safe. Huh? Which is the car? Allati. In Kalabat, which overturned. Are you with me? The car which overturned, but the passengers were safe. Uh, they were secure, unharmed. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now you transport, transfer this verb into form two. Naja will become Najja. Kevas Mudarya. No, Mudarya. Najja. Yunajji. Najja. Yunajji. Huh? Najja means somebody made somebody safe. Huh? Someone made somebody safe. Okay? Fine. Najja. What will be Allah? Who? Fine. Huh? Najja Allah. Najja Allah. Allah made safe huh? okay whom passenger so see rukaba huh? mafulun bihi rukaba sayarati allah saved the passengers of the car which overturned got the idea brothers and sisters okay so in the first sentence naja was lazim and you brought it into form to Najja, Yunajji, it became Mutaaddi. Huh? Very important sentence to ponder over and think over, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Now, this is another nice thing. You got to highlight it, brothers and sisters. You got to highlight this. We will finish this and inshallah take a break, brothers and sisters. Is a Nukila. What is Nukila? Shift, huh? transform, shift, transport. Huh? Is it Madi? It's, it's, it's Madi, but it's Majifun. Huh? Madi, but it's Majifun. Where is the knife file? Alfiail. Huh? Huh? So, Isa means brother, if, or when. Huh? Nukila means, there is another word for Nukila. Hawwala. What is it? Hawwala. Hawwala also means to change. Huh? Okay. So how will you say is a Hawwila. Huh? What will you say? Hawwila. It is change. Huh? Just I want you to, you know, okay. Hawwala. That you will Hawwila. Huh? What is the meaning of Hovila? Nukila. Are you with me, brother and sister? Nukila. Hmm? Okay, wash by the knife file. Al fialu. What is al mutaaddi? Naat. Ila mafu ilin wahidin. Now, this whole thing is related to the al fa'lul muta'addi ila maf'ulin wahidin means the fa'lul muta'addi allah a transitive verb with one maf'ulun bi if it is if it is transferred are you with me put a line with a pencil huh? up to wahidin did you put a line put a put a line up to Wahid then. It will help you to understand better, brother. Now see, only read up to Wahid then. Is a nukil al fialul muta addi ila mafulin wahidin. What is the translation of this? No. 
No. If the fi'lul muta'addi, if the fi'lul muta'addi with one maf'ulun bi, are you with me? If the fi'lul muta'addi with one maf'ulun bi, if it is transferred, Ah. You know, if the fair, see in English, how will you trans, translate? If the fi'al muta'addi with one mafulun bihi. Muta'addi ila mafulun wahid. Are you with me? Muta'addi has to be with mafulun bihi. So if the, how will you translate in English? Brother? See, there is a way of expression in different languages. Are you with me? There is a way of expression in different languages. Uh, each language has its own way of expression. So when we translate, we will translate in a different way. We will say, if the transitive verb with man mafulun bihi is transferred, are you with me? If the transitive verb with man mafulun bihi is transferred to these two forms, Are you with me? Again, make another line. Ilaha zainil babaini. Another line. Uh, now, now translate, brother. When the when the transitive verb to one mafulun transitive verb to one mafulun bihi is transferred to these. Two forms. Okay. But I remember, it's not as a shart. Where is Jawabu shart? Where is the Jawabu shart? Ta'adda. Ta'adda ila maful. Then it, then it becomes double transitive. Are you with me? So ta'adda is a Jawabu shart for ida. If you put lines with pencil, brothers and sisters, you will see the meaning absolutely clear. Otherwise, it can become a little confusing. So, I, I ask you to put one line after Wahidin, and I ask you to put another line after Babaini. Huh? Okay. So, again, I give you the translation. If the transitive verb to one mafulun bihi is transferred to these two forms, then it becomes transitive to two mafulun bihi. It becomes transitive to two mafulun bihi. That's all. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Okay. Samiyal mudarrisu Qur'ana. How many were mafulun bihi in Samiya? One. Now look at this. Asma at-tullabu Asma'at tullabul mudarrisa al-Qur'ana means the students made the teacher listen to the Qur'an. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? So asma, where are two mafulun bihi? Al-Mudarrisa and al-Qur'an. Clear? It should be 100% clear, brother. Fine. Fahimat talibud darsa. How many mafulun bihi? One, darsa. Fahimat talibu. What's the translation? The student understood the lesson. Fahamal mudarrisu. Taliba adarsa. Fahamal mudarrisu. Taliba darsa. The teacher made the student understand the darsa. Got the idea? See how it becomes double transitive. Okay, brother. Next one. Li nashar of shaya. Let us drink tea, inshallah. Okay. One more full and be. One more full Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back. Sister Ravza, thanks a lot. May Allah bless you. Especially bless your mother and your family. For she made some delicious. Uh, Kebab, shish kebab and boti and mashallah, I, everybody enjoyed it. Uh, uh, please say, convey our thanks to her also. Uh, okay? May Allah bless you and your family, inshallah. Uh, 
Adekhel. What is Adekhel, brothers and sisters? Amar. From? From four. See, now we've got to understand. Adekhala, yudkhilu, Adekhel. Kulla fi'elin mimma yati fi jumlataini. Fil jumlatil. Hula in the first sentence. Kama huwa. As it is. Wa fi jumlata thaniyati ba'da idkhali. Hamzatit. Ta'adiyati. What is Hamzatit Ta'adiyati? What is that Hamza? That the Hamza of Bab Afala. What is it called? Hamzatut Ta'adiyati. What is Ta'adiyati? It is the master of Adda Yu'addi. Got the idea? It's the master. And what does Adda mean? To transform a verb into huh? Muta'addi. Ah, transformation, you say, yeah. See, I have written, you know, adda to transform an intransitive verb into a transitive verb. Do you see? Huh? And what is the master of adda? Ta'adiyya. Very good, brother and sister. Kharaja hamidun min al-fasli. This is lazim. Akhraj al-muraqibu hamidun min al-fasli. The supervisor took the Hamid out of the class. Okay, brother. Now, inshallah, I leave it to you. You will be able to do it at home. Huh? Will you make an attempt? Form sim- simple sentences. Dakhala, brother. Dakhala. Atalibu. Make it al jadidu. Fill fastly. The new student entered the classroom. Now, what will you say? Adkhal al mudarrisu a talib al jadida. Okay, inshallah. Jalasa, you know, you can make anything you want. Jalastu, jalastu, amam al mirhab. I sat in front of the mirhab. Now, what will you say? Ajalastu means you also made a child sit next to you. Are you with me? Ajalastu. Ajlastu, Tifli, my little son, Bijanibi, next to me. Fine, brother? You, you can, inshallah, make it. Dahika, Dahika Zamili, my friend laughed. And then, Dahika will become Adhaka. You make someone laugh. لا تضحكني في الفصل Don't make me laugh in the class. Are you with me? Inshallah. So you will be able to do it, inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, that was changing, changing the lazim into mutadi by adding hamzatul taadiya. Hamzatul taadiya. Are you with me? You change this, you change these verbs uh, into form four. And you made them transitive. Fine. By adding to these verbs, Hamzatul Ta'adiya. Okay, fine. Now, what is the next one? You are going to change them into form two. أدخل كل فعل من ما يأتي في جملتين في الجملة الأولى كما هو وفي الجملة الثانية بعد تدعي فيه تدعي في what is the verb دا أفا دا أفا okay that is to say I that is to say نقله إلى باب فعل means transforming it or or transferring it into the bab fa ala fine brother darasa darasa talibu ulugat al arbiya now all of them brothers and sisters you got to be watchful if it is if it already has a mafulun bi then it will have two mafulun bi so darasa is already what is already 
la mutaddi so it will have two mudad darasat talibu lughat al arabiya translation the student studied arabic language now transform it into form to darasa what will you say darasa al mudarrisu taliba al lughat al arabiya yani mudarris taught the student what did he teach al lughat al arabiya are you with me brothers and sisters darasa al mudarrisu taliba al lughat al arabiya is it clear sister maimuna inshallah sister madina inshallah fine brother khafa he is afraid khiftu khiftu i was afraid an atakhara an ad-darsi can you translate this khiftu an atakhara an ad-darsi i was afraid of being late for the class now some something else puts fear into you so what will be the word khawafa huh? huh you will say khawafa you can make any sentence you want but sometimes you hear a shouting huh? somebody crying in the middle of a night and you get scared are you with me okay so you can make any kind of sentence if you want and if you are not comfortable you can look into the halwa tamar but khawafani khawafani surakh tifli surakh means screaming and shouting of a tifli child huh? right now surakh brother What is the meaning of surakh? Crying or yelling huh? of a child. Crying of a child, you know. But surakh means loudly. Huh? Made me scared, you know. What is wrong with him? Are you with me? How wafani surakhut tifli. Fine, brother and sister. Nama, of course. Right? Huh? Nim tu tula layl. What did I say? I slept all night long. Nim tu tu la layl. Nawama. How will you change that? Nama into nawama. Nawama til ummu bintaha. What did I say? Nawama til ummu bintaha. Translate. mother put her little daughter to sleep ha huh? are you with me mother? inshallah you'll make a sentence you know this is very nice sentence hafiza hafistu 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 sura yasin huh? i memorized sura yasin now change it into form 2 hafaza al mudarrisu taliba sura yasin huh? the teacher made the student memorize sura yasin got the idea brother jaffa okay what is jaffa to become dry hmm? jaffal kamisu jaffal kamisu what is the translation the shirt became dry huh? fine brother now put it into form true jaffafa okay brother and sister jaffafa tishamsu what did i say jaffafa tishamsu translation the sun dried al kameez al al malabis ha huh? the sun dried the clothes are you with me brother and sisters jaffa will become jaffafa inshallah put an effort make a sentence and then you can check the hello tamari okay 
I wish we had more time. Then you can write the sentence, I take home and make correction and give you back. But then we don't have that much time, you know. Okay. This is another nice exercise, a beautiful exercise. This is your examination. It is a test. Kaifa uddiyat. Kaifa uddiyatil af'alu allati tahta khattun fil amsilatil atiyati. Translation. How did the verbs uh, got uh, transitive? Uddiya. Uddiya means to become transitive. Uh, the words under which there is a line. Uh, how did they become transitive? Now, you will only describe in the following ways, brother. What will you say? Uddiya bit tadaifi. What is the meaning of uddiya bit tadaifi? <laughs> Making it into form two. A doubling the ayn kalim. Or you will say uddiya bil hamza. That's all you have to say. No more. Huh? Okay, number one, brothers and sisters. I will start with brother now. Brother Haider Ali. Man abka tifla ya amina. Translation. Man abka. Now tell me abka. What is it? Huh? Brother Haider Ali. It is form four. How did it become uh, transitive? Uddiya bil hamzati. Uddiya means it became transitive uh, by hamza. Just, just try to say these things uh, so that you get used to it. Uh, so it became transitive by hamza. So now you translate. Baka, from baka it became abka. Man abka tifla ya amina. Who made the child cry, O amina? What is the answer? Ma abakahu ahdun. Nobody made him cry. Still it is uddiya bil hamza. Innama yabki, he only cries minal joy. He is crying from hunger. Hunger. Are you with me? Inshallah. Brother Muhammad, kala talibul jadidu lil mudaris. The new student said to the teacher, Ya Ustad, Ajlisni. What is Ajlis? Uddiya bil Hamza. Ya Ustad, Ajlisni kariban minas sabura. Make me sit near the blackboard. For inna nazari, because my eyesight is weak. Inshallah. Brother Hassan. Translation, brother. Very good. Thumma. Al maridata. Marida. Ta. And you will have to explain to me why it is ta. Inshallah. But first, nazaltu. What will you say? Bit ta daifi. Are you with me? Uddiya bit ta daifi. It became mutaaddi by double of the ankle. Okay, brother and sister, nazaltu. Where is the file? Brother Hassan, where is the file? Nazaltu. Where is the file? Two. File two. Where is the mafulun bihi? Umma. What is it? Ummi. Okay. Are you with me, brother and sister? Where is the verb? Nazal. What is this? Five. Where is the mafulun bihi? Umma. Huh? Because of the ya mutakalam, it got a kasra. And then it is mudaf, and then mudafili. Now, if there is a nat for umma, it has to be mansu. 
So then the Nath came, Al Mari Da Ta. Why it is Ta? Huh? Because this is the Nath for Umma. Got the idea? You got to think like that. Huh? And if you made it Al Mari Dati, then it is wrong. Huh? Huh? Then it is wrong. Because Manautu is Mansu, the Nath has to be. Manchu, very good. Okay, Ya Ahmad, La Tudhikni, Wa Ana Akra Darsa. Brothers and sisters, okay, Sister Arifa, La Tudhikni, Wa Ana Akra Darsa. Translation. While I'm reading that, that's mashallah. So what is told the hik? It is majizum. Because of la nahiya. So what is the verb of told the hik? Madi adhaka. Huh? What is it? Adhaka. How will you describe adhaka? Uddiya bil hamza. Are you with me, inshallah? Wa ana, this is vowel hal. Huh? And this is jumla halia. While I'm... Uh, Reading the lesson, don't make me laugh. Okay, fine. Nusrat? Akhrij? Uh, uh, when you go to the doctor, what do you say? Take out your tongue. Uh, are you with me? So, Akhrij is your Amar. So, it is uh, form four. So, it is Uddiya Bilhamza. You will have to take out the verb and then describe it. Huh? So you take, write down the verb akhrij and you can also say it is amar and write down madi akhraja and say uddiya bilhamza. Inshallah. Ka'ala ta'ala. Sister Madina. Wallahu and Allah. Allah, what is wow? Harfu at. What is Allahu, Sister Madina? Allahu, what is Allahu? Muftada. What is it? Muftada. And where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Huh? What is Akhrajakum. Akhraja. Okay. So that is your form 4. Huh? And so it is Uddiya Bil Hamza. And what is Kum? Bafulun Bihi. Min Harfchar Butuni. Isam Majrur wa huwa mudaf and ummahati mudaf ilayhi wa huwa mudaf and kum mudaf ilayhi. Translation. Allah brings you out from mother's womb. Huh? La ta'alamuna shayyan. And what is your condition? You don't know anything. Uh, Allah brings you out from the wombs of your mothers. At that time, you don't know anything. Huh? Sister uh, Rahima, we got a very nice sentence. Huh? MashaAllah. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla Shartiya. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So, where is the verb underlined? Nozik. Nozik. What is it, Nozik, sister? Huh? It's not Amar. Tell me the Mahdi. Huh? Okay, tell me the Fel Solasi. Zaka. Yazuku. What is it, sister Rahima? Huh? Zaka. What is the meaning of zaka? He tasted. Now you bring it into form four. Huh? It will become azaka. What is the meaning of azaka? You make someone taste something. Huh? You make someone taste something. What will be the mudarya? Yuziku. Okay, make it much zoom. Huh? You will say, 
Yuzik. Are you with me? Yuzik. Five in your pocket. Tozik, tozik, uzik, nozik. Got the idea? Inshallah. So how will you describe it? Inshallah, I'm sure you know it, but let me say it. Man maru ismu shat jazimu tajizimu fi alayn. Okay. Yazdulim fi'alun Bailu shart. This is in a normal way fi'alu shart. Fi'alun mudariyun majzumun bid sukun. Fi'alu shart. Minkum jar majzum. Then what is nuzik? Jawabu shart. In its normal way it is majzum. Jawabu shart. Fi'alun mudariyun majzumun bid sukun. What is who? Gafulun bihi number. One. Huh? Azaka. Zaka has maful. Already a maful one. So Azaka will have two mafulun bihi. So who is the mafulun bihi one? And where is the other mafulun bihi? Azaban. Huh? And Kabiran is not. Huh? Okay. In this we do not have to use fi mahalli jasmine anywhere. Huh? Because they are all coming in its natural, huh? in its asal original form. Huh? Inshallah. Hope you understood. Huh? Very good, brother. Where are we now, brother? Number eight. Sister Gulshan. Call Allah Ta'ala li Musa. Alayhi salam. Allah said uh, to Musa. Okay, brothers and sisters. Allah Ta'ala said to Musa, alayhi salam. Wa adkhil. Yadaka. And put your hand. Okay, adakhil yadaka fi jaybika. Okay, what will happen? Takhruj. It will come out. How will it come out? In what form? In what condition? Baida. It will come out white. Min ghairi suin. Min ghairi means without any sickness or illness. So what is our verb of interest? Where is the underline? Adkhil. What is Adkhil, Sister Gulshan? Amar. Adkhala, yudkhilu, Adkhil. How will you describe it? Uddiya bilhamza. Uddiya bilhamza. Very good. Sister Aisha. Badat tawafi. Wasai. What is the meaning of this, brother? When you go for Umrah or for Hajj, you do the Tawaf and you do the Sai between the two hills, brother and sisters. Safa and Marwa. Yahaliku al Muatamiru. Rasahu. What is the meaning of Muatamiru? The person who is doing Umrah. Are you with me? What is this Muatamiru? Yatamara. Yatamiru. So what is this? Ism fire. It is Ism fire. Huh? Alhamdulillah. He Yahaliku Muatamiru Raso. He shaves his head. Huh? Okay, but say, Aw, or if he doesn't shave his head, then what does he do? Yukasiru. Kasara Yukasiru. He cuts. Sha'arahu. He cuts his hair. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, yukassiru. Okay, brothers and sisters. Uddiyabit tada'ifi. Fine. Sister Aisha, I did the whole job myself without you. You got to do the next one. Kala nabiyu, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La... Yankihu. Okay. Al Muharimu. What is the translation? The person who is in Ihram should not marry. Eh? Should not marry. And then what is the next one? Wala Yunkihu. First was Yankihu. Now it is. Yonkihu, and there's the underline. So what is this? 
What is the Mahdi? Ankaha. See, Nakaha, he himself gets married. Ankaha means other person gets him married. Okay? So, when you are in the state of Ihram, uh, you should not marry, nor somebody else should make you marry. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay? So, Yunkihu. So, it is from Ankaha. So, it is Uddiya bil Hamza. Wala yaktubu. What is the meaning of that? And he should not get engaged. Uh, and he should not get engaged also. Okay? He should not marry. Okay? Neither he should be made to marry. Uh, nor he should get engaged. Khataba. Huh? Okay. Sister Mehmuna, Kala Ta'ala. Masha'Allah. They are beautiful verbs, huh, brother, here. Beautiful verse of the Quran. Adhaka. Bil Hamza. Well, Abka. Well, Amata. Hamza. And Ahya. Udiyat Bil Hamza. All are form four. And they are coming uh, from uh, uh, Lazim verb. Huh? They are coming from Lazim verb. Dahika, Baka, Mata, and and Hayya. Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Huh? Translation, sister, Mamuna, that will be nice to translate. He is the one. He is the one who makes you laugh, makes uh, laugh, huh? and make you cry, and he gives death and life. Mashallah. See, brother and sister, now we got to understand in Arabic. When this sentence we read, we understand 100%, inshallah. Huh? And when we hear it in Tilawat, we understand 100%, inshallah. Okay, sister Nasreen. Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. Ah. Huh? No, it is, it is, uh, sister. Uh, sister Suhaina, this is harfu uh, atf. Wa. Uh, the verb is karrih. Uh, Elena, again same. Mashallah. Ma- Al kufra wal fusuka wal isyan. Or translate. So what is the meaning of Habbaba? To make someone love something. What is it? To make someone love something. Huh? So what are we saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Habib, make us love. Huh? You make us love. What shall, should you make us love? Al-Iman, the faith. Huh? Okay. Hmm? Make us love the faith. Huh? Are you, are, in other words, when you say faith, faith in Allah, faith in Akhira, faith in Quran, faith in all the uh, messengers, you know, make that thing dear to us. Huh? Okay, brother? Make someone love or like something. Okay? And then what is the meaning of karrih? Karraha. To, to dislike something. Opposite of Habbaba. To dislike and, and make us dislike. Make us dislike what? Kufra. Disbelief. What is and what is the brother and sister? Fusuk? Huh? It is immorality. Immorality. Huh? And what is uh, Isyan? Disobedience. Disobedience. Huh, brother? Now is what is Uridu an Uriyaha al Mudira. This is the discussion about discussion about what? 
Uh, ara. Uh, what is ara formed for? What is ara to show? Uh, uh, I would like to leave it here. Uh, and I would I like to request you uh, that you will take some time and conjugate. First you conjugate ra'a. Uh, ra'a yara. Conjugate one more time uh, on a piece of paper. And then also figure out how we make majzoon and how we make it mansub, mudarya. And then you do one more conjugation and that will be ara. Ara will be, mudarya will be yuri. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Ra'a. Yara, and then Ara. This is what I would like you to do it, and then tomorrow, because there are some beautiful verses of the Quran. Beautiful, beautiful verses. And we'll try to analyze them, inshallah. You're going to have to tell us tomorrow. Ji? The verse you're going to have to share with us tomorrow. Yeah, the, 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 everything else. Huh? Because then I want you to do it. Uh, at home, write it, but let's do verbally now. Okay, brother? Ra'a, ra'aya, ra'au, ra'at, ra'ata, ra'ayna, ra'ayta, ra'aytuma, ra'aytum, ra'ayti, ra'aytuma, ra'aytunna, ra'aytu, ra'ayna. That's the idea. Yara. Watch. Be careful. Put yara in front of you. And your mind should do the rest of the job. Everybody with me? Yara, Yarayani, Yarauna, Tara, Tarayani, Yaraina, Yaraina, because the Ya is there. Huh? Anta, Tara, Tarayani, Tarauna, and then Anti, Taraina, Taraina, then Antuma, Tarayani, then Antuna, Taraina, and then Ara. Nara, huh? inshallah. Very good. Now, Ara. Ara. Are you with me? Araya. Arau. Arat. Arata. Araina. Araita. Araituma. Araitum. Araiti. Araituma. Araituna. Araitu. Araina. Araitu. I showed. Araina. We showed. Huh? Remember. To see and to show. Okay. Yuri, let's do it, Yuri, brother. Ready? No mistakes. Otherwise, you will bring some of us tomorrow. <laughs> Are you with me? Yuri, Yuriyani, Yuruna. Huh? Yuruna. Are you with me? Yuruna. And then Turi, Turiyani. And then Yurina, Yurina. And then Anta, Turi, Turiyani. Turuna, and then Turina, Turiyani, and again Turina, and then Uri, Nuri. Huh? Inshallah. Now write it, brother. Make a uh, written practice. And we'll do the rest of it tomorrow, inshallah. And make Amar also. When you conjugate Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, make Amar also. Practice of uh, Amar also, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Rabbi shrahli sadri, wa yassirli amri, wa hlu lukta tammil lisani yafkahu kawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, nice to see you. I told you that I would be writing. I didn't get a chance yesterday to write it. Today we'll start the, our session with this. This is a sample of what... Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to write in a book form. Huh? Uh, selected verses of the Quran with its <coughs> grammatical analysis. And inshallah, uh, when he comes in October here, uh, we will launch that book and we will give you all of you a complimentary copy signed by Dr. Abdurrahim. Uh, inshallah. Brother, this is from Surah Rum, verse number 17. Subhanallah. Now, you haven't studied this thoroughly, but I have 
hinted you many times. What is subhana? Mafulun mutlak. It's a master. Huh? It's a master. Huh? It's a master. Mafulun mutlak. Now, whenever there's a mafulun mutlak, and the verb, the fail and file are not mentioned, means they are mazuf. Okay? So normally when you say subhanallah on your own, the fail and file is usabbihu. What is it? I glorify. I keep him high. Huh? Or you can say nusabbihu. Are you with me? Nusabbihu. When you say subhanallah, means usabbihu, or you can say nusabbihu. But what about here? Now this is a, a, a guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a command to us. So, so what kind of a verb is hidden here? Okay? It is Amar. What will you be saying then? See, this is Mahzuf. Sabbihu. Huh? Sabbihu, subhanallah. Means all of you, the whole mankind, must huh, glorify Allah. Must glorify Allah. Are you with me? See, now, you can very well appreciate and, f and feel it in your heart. Huh? When you read Subhanallah, then Allah is telling you, Sabbiho, Subhanallah. Okay, glorify. Huh? Glorify Allah. When? Heena. What is Heena? The time. Time, okay? Time. And what is Heena? Zarfu Zaman. Okay? At the time of when? Tumsuna. When you enter evening. Glorify Allah. When you enter evening. What are Brother and sister, what is Tumsuna? Uh, tumsuna? No. Tumsuna is from Amsa Yumsi. From four. When you enter. Now, as I said to you, that Amsa Yumsi can be Fialun Tamun, complete verb with a file, or it can be Fialun Nakisun, then it will have a ism like Khan. When you change the meaning of amsa and asbaha to become, then it is nakis. Huh? Become what? Okay? But when you enter something, then it is a normal. Okay? It will have a file. So when you enter evening, so where is the file? Wow. wow. Now, what is this? Jumla failure. Are you listening, all of you? Huh? Jumla failure. Fi mahalli jar mudafilehi. Because you know, when a zarf comes, there is a mudafilehi. So, in this case, where is the mudafilehi? The jumla failure, with fail and fire. Now, brother, this is advanced Arabic. You don't talk like this in book one and book two. And not even in the beginning of book three. But we will come across this now in our next few lessons. And then, brother, harfu atf. And again, hina is zarf. You can say matufun Allah this. Okay. And what is tusbihuna? When you enter morning. Huh? Glorify Allah. When you enter evening and when you enter morning. Are you with me? Tusbihuna. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should, I corrected it, and then again something happened. See, again, tusbihuna, all of you, that vow is antum, the whole of mankind. Okay, brothers and sisters? So, and then what is tusbihuna? Again, it is jumla, complete, with file, uh -huh. A felun mudariun marfun bi subuti noon, and file is the wall. And then al jumlatul fialiatu fi mahali jarrin mudafilehi. Now, this is very advanced, huh? but there is such a beauty in it when you understand 
And we do not have to do the analysis all the time. If you do once or twice, then your mind understands it. Brother, wallahu. Okay, brother. And what is this lahu hamdu? Okay, lahu. Jar Madur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar, Hamdu Muptidaf, and again Jar Majur. Okay. Now this Wallahu Hamdu is a parenthetical sentence. What is it? You remember? I give you an example. Kala Allahu Ta'ala. That is the parenthetical sentence. Kala Rasulullahi. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Okay. Huh? Or we can say kala. Huh? We take all the full of high rashidin and we say radiallahu anhu. Or if there is a sister who is a, uh, a sahabi, we say radiallahu anha. Huh? So what is this radiallahu anhu and ad- anha? These are all parenthetical sentences. So here, this is a parenthetical sentence. Are you with me? And only once we have a deep knowledge of Quran, we can then understand it. Or the scholars will guide us. That this is a parenthetical sentence. Because the message is something else. And this is the praise of Allah. This is the praise of Allah. Allahu hamdu fi samawati walad. And then, brother, what is this? And what is Ashiyan? Mautufun ala hina. This is also Zarf. It describes a time. Okay? Are you with me? Now, this, in, in one of the scholars has described as the, as the Asar time. The time of Asar. Well, Maghrib, and Isha will be in Tumsuna. And Tusbihuna is the morning. And Zohar time. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So again, Wahina, Mautufunala, Hina, the time, Zarfu Zaman, and Tuzhiruna, when you enter afternoon. Huh? Glorify Allah. Glorify Allah. Okay, and azhara yuzhiru, and the file is, file is wow. Are you with me, brother and sister? Now, uh, many scholars, okay, have said that the five times of prayers uh, are derived from this. You know, five times of prayer are derived from this. Okay, so. This is it, brother. This is the way, inshallah, we will be studying. And we will understand each and every word. Now, do you understand each and every word? Yes, alhamdulillah, we understand. You know, that's the way, inshallah, we'll carry on. Huh? Which one? Yes, 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 yes. Brother, brother and sister, whenever Zarf will come with a single... Fatah, then it will be Mudaf. Huh? And we are going to learn, inshallah, soon. It's coming in our dars. That portion is coming, that rule is coming in our dars, inshallah. Jesus, sir? The whole, uh, glorify Allah when you enter evening and when you enter morning. To, to him belongs all the praise in the heavens and in the earth. And glorify him Ashiyan, at the time of Asar. And at the time when you enter the, the, the noon period. Got the idea? This, this applies to everything, brother. Sabbihu subhana. Subhana, whenever Subhana comes, the fail file, a jumla is ma'zuf. And we got to understand and translate it. But in this case, 
It is Amar. Sabbihu. Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I requested you to go through the Ra'a, Yara, and Ara, Juri. I hope you are all comfortable with uh, Ra'a, Yara, and Ara, Juri. Huh? Okay. Now, what is the Amar of? What is the Amar of Ara, Juri, Ari? Remember? Huh? And if it is a monus, Ari with Ya. And if it is uh, uh, antum, aru. Uh, uh, and if it is uh, antunna, arina. Uh, inshallah. So this is what Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain. Uridu an uri al mudira, ara af al min ra'a. Asluhu ara. Huzifat minhu ainuhu. Modariu Yuri. Inshallah, you understand that. Yuri, Felun Modariun, Marfun, Walamatu Rafai, Adamatul, Mokadara. Fine. Well, Amar Minhu Ari. How will you define Ari? Felu Amrin, Mabnun Allah, Hazafi, Harfi Illah. Ari ni Haza Ya Ali. Show me this. So, Ya Mutakalam. Is your first uh, mafulun bihi and haza is your second mafulun bihi, brothers and sisters. Okay. Aruni, how will you define Aruni? Felu amran, mabniun ala adfi noon. MashaAllah, very good. And where is the file? Al wow. Huh? That is your file. And then nunun vikaya and ya mutakallim and then haza again, mafulun bihi number two. But then, sisters, what is this? Arena. Arena. Arinani. Are you with me? Arinani. What is this now? Felu Amrin. Mabnunala Sukun. Huh? Okay. Hunna and Tunna are always Mabnunala Sukun. Fimahali Jasmine, you can say. And what is, where is the file? Nununiswa. Okay. You, you, you missed it. You missed it, brothers and sisters. Let me write down. What is this? This is for Antunna. Let us start with Anta. Turi, Turiyani, Turuna. Turina, Turiyani, Turina. How will you define, define this? We are doing marfu only. So you will say, you will say, Felun, Modarion, Felun, Modarion, Mabniun ala, Sukun, Fi Mahali Are you with me? Or, because we are conjugating, so it is in the, in the, Marfu halat, but if it was mansu, you will say female nasmin. If there was a lam, you will say female chasmin, because there will be no changes in this verb. Okay? And then where is the file? Nunu niswa. Huh? This is your file. Huh? Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, make into Amar. Padasan, only one chop. That's it. No more. We cannot drop the noon because this is not the noon ata jata. No, that is not the same noon. This is a file. So what will you bring now? Okay, so what will happen now? What will be your uh, Amar? Arena. So how will you define this? Fellow Amar. Mabniun ala sukun. Mabnun ala sukun. Fi mahali jasmin. Because all amar are majzun. And then where is the file? Noon. And then there is a noon vikaya. Huh? Are you with me? 
No one will care. Okay? And then, Ya Mutakallim, brother and sister, is your Mafulun Bihi? Huh? Number one. Mafulun Bihi? Number one. And Haza is Mafulun Bihi? Number two, brother. Are you with me? You got the idea? Inshallah. Takulu, you say, Aran al Mudarrisu Kitab al Nahvi Jadidan. What is the sentence, brother? Aran al Mudarrisu Aran al Mudarrisu Kitab al Nahvin Jadidan. The teacher showed us the new book of grammar. Huh? Fine. Brother Ara. How is Ara written? Not with the Alif Maksura, but big Alif. Huh? So, Ara plus Na change into Ara Na. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, what is Ara? Huh, brothers and sisters? Fiyalu Madin Babnu Nala Fatahtu Mukhattara. Huh? What is na? Mafulun bihi number one. Huh? And what is al mudarrisu? Fail. Where is mafulun bihi number two? Kitab. Wa huwa mudaf. And then nahwin mudafili. And what is jadidan? Where is the manut? Kitab. Huh? Kitab is the manut. Mashal. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Ghadan, the deserve. Sa'akhuzukum ilal maktabil ama. What is the meaning of maktabil ama? Public library. Huh? Tomorrow, I will take you to the public library. Wa urikum. What is the meaning of this? And we'll show you. Huh? Uri. Felun. Mudariun. Marfoon, bidammatil mukaddara. Where is the file? Mustatir, takdiruhu ana. Huh? And kum is your mafulun bihi number one. Where is mafulun bihi number two? Al maajima. Huh? Okay, then what is this kullaha? Emphasis, mashallah. Tawkid. Huh? This kullaha is tawkid. And what is ha? Mudafilehi. What is it? Mudafilehi. Of course, this refers to all the mojum, but here, kullaha, mudaf, mudafilehi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Arini. What is arini? Fail amrin. Mabnunala, hadafi, harfi, illa. Where is the file? Mustatir. Takadiru, anta. And nunu vikaya. And what is the ya mutakalam? Mafulun bihi number one. Where is the mafulun bihi number two? Jawaza. Wahua mudaf. And safari mudafilehi. Wahua mudaf. And ka mudafilehi. Ya Ahmed. Show me your passport. O oh, Ahmed. Okay. Now comes the interesting things, brother. Fit tanzili. In the Quran. Okay. Wallakad. Hmm? Arainahu ayatina kullaha fakazaba wa aba. This is referred to the Fir'aun. Okay, brother. Now we are going to understand the the expression lakad. In in all languages there is a special way of expressing something, you know. And in Arabic also there are many, many ways of expression and they are so beautiful. Uh, which cannot be translated. Uh, which cannot be translated. Okay. So, lakad, brothers and sisters, what is lakad? This, if you wish to write down, you can write down. Lakad. First we say, la. 
What is love, brother? What did I write? Uh, what did I write, brothers and sisters? Allahu lil kasamil mukaddari. There's a there's a kasam there. Whenever you will see lakad, there's a kasam there. Okay. Now, and what is kad, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Harfu tahki. That is why you will see in the Quran, brother. Watini, wazaituni, waturi sinina. And then, brother, wahazal baladil. I mean, now these are all kasam. And after that, lakad. Now comes jawabu kasam. Huh? So when the jawabu kasam is affirmative, huh? Only when it is affirmative, you will put la there. Huh? So, brother, these are all beautiful things which cannot be translated. You have to learn the language to feel the magic, the eloquence, and, and the sweetness of it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, this is it. So, when you see any time lakad on its own, then the kasam is mukaddara. Mukaddara. Kasam is there. And sometimes you will see the kasam and lakat coming together in the Quran. So here, lakat has come. The kasam is mazuf. You know? Okay. Arayna. Where is the verb? Uh, aray. 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 Because these are mutaharik pronouns. So, Lam Kalima Gauta, Sukun. Huh? You have to understand that. Arayna. Where is the file? Na. na. What is who? Mafulun bihi number one. Where is the mafulun bihi number two? Ayati. But the ayati, how can that be mafulun bihi? It's a kasra. Mafulun bihi is always a fatah, brother. Hassan, I'm asking you. What's your reply? Jama Muannas Salim. What is it? You forgot? You knew it? MashaAllah. If you could figure out this, what shall I say? Shabas. May Allah bless you with Mona. Did you feel Nasreen also? MashaAllah. But I think sometimes we know it, but we forget. Remember, Jama Muannas Salim. Is mansub bil kasra. Huh? So this is ayati is mafulun bihi number two. Wahua mudaf. And then na mudafilay. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Are you with me? I hope you didn't get lost. Hafza? Abir? You, you, you feel it? You understand, inshallah. See, brothers and sisters, when you come to the class and we go through this process, it will only make you strong and strong. And when you study Quran on your own, inshallah, you'll be able to figure out. Huh? Okay, you will not get lost. Ayatina huh? kullaha again. What is kulla? Taqi then ha mudafilihi. Fakazaba so he denied. Huh? He called it. These are all lies. Wakazaba, wa'aba. What is the meaning of kazaba? It is believed. He said these are all lies. And aba, aba. What is mudaria? Aba, ya aba. Refused. He refused. Huh? He declined. Huh? The simple meaning is that we showed him. That is fair on our signs. All of them. He disbelieved. And he refused. Okay, he declined. Are you with me? Inshallah. 
Now, number two, Sister Maimuna, I'm asking you, Huwa, what is Huwa? Muftada, see, no problem. Where is the khabar? Allazi is the khabar, mashallah, mashallah. He is the one, huh? is, he is. Remember, Muftada khabar, there will be is or R or M, okay? He is the one. Okay, so huwa, huwa, muftada. And where is the khabar? Allazi. And Allazi has come, what is Allazi? Ismul mausula, then we will have silatul mausul. But let us analyze the words first. Yuri kum. So what is yuri? Fehlu mudharyun. Marfun bi dhammatil mukaddara. Where is the file? Mustatil. Takdiruhu. Huwa, yadullu Allah, allazi, yadullu Allah, allazi. Here it will be, yadullu Allah, allazi. And allazi is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yuri, kum. What is kum? Mafulun bihi number one. Where is mafulun bihi number two? And now you cannot make a mistake. Brother, how will you define ayati? Mafulun bihi mansubun bil kasra. Then you will write down, liannahu. Jama Mu'anna Salim. Huh? That's the way you will write down. Okay. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf in Fine. Well, you, and then harfu atf comes. Wow. Huh? Yunazilu. Now yunazilu. You know, brothers and sisters. Can go to the yuri. Can go to yuri. Mautufun ala yuri. Okay. Wa yunazilu lakum. For you, minas samai and rizkan. What is rizkan? Mafulun bihi? Anything more you want to say? No, brother, just mafulun bihi. Because this mafulun bihi is for yunazzilu. Nazzala, yunazzilu, only one mafulun bihi. Huh? Yunazzilu rizkan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So, Sister uh, Naima, he's the one who shows you his signs and he brings down for you from the sky, Rizka. See, inshallah, what I'm aiming, brother and sister, that we will understand the Quran in its original composition. You know, you will understand all these words, what they are, huh? inshallah. Number three, brother and sister, is, huh? that is zarf. What is is? Zarf. Kala Ibrahimu. What is Ibrahimu? File for Kala. Huh? Rabbi. What is Rabbi? Ya Rabbi. <laughs> so, Harfunida is Maiduf. Huh? And Rabbi is Mudaf. Are you with me? Mudaf. Uh, and it is Mansub. Uh, it is Mansub. Okay. Mansub bil Fatahatil Mukaddara. Okay. Alama uh, Kabla. Ya. Okay, it is before the ya. Okay, so if there was no ya, you would have seen that fata. Are you with me? And where is the mudafilehi? Mahzuf again. Mudafilehi, ya mudafilehi is mahzuf. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, arini, show me. Arini, okay, show me. Ari is fellow Amarin. Mabniun ala hazfi harfi illa. Where is the file? Musatir. Takdiruhu? Anta. Anta. Yadullu ala rabbi. Are you with me? Where is the second mafulun bihi? Kaifa tukhyil mauta. This whole sentence is your second mafulun bihi. Okay? The whole sentence is your not kaifa, but the whole sentence, okay? Kaifa. What is kaifa? Ismu istifam. What is it? 
is mooi Stefan. Toch hier. Wat is toch hier, brothers and sisters? Fialun Madarion, Marfun bi Dammatil Mukadarao. What is the Madi, sister Madina? Ahya. And how do you write Ahya? It's written like this, brother. Ahya Yuhyi. Form 4. Form 4. Okay. How do you give life to the dead? Brother, mauta is plural. Eh? Singular is mayitun. What is the singular of mauta? Mayitun. Eh? Kala. Now this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Eh? Kala. Awalam tomin lam you know okay and brother what is a harfu istifam and what is wal harfu atf but it came afterwards why it's Queen Victoria Hamzatul istifam will not allow anybody to come in front of her everything has to follow okay Especially if it is harfu uh, atf, wow, fa, thumma, they will always always follow hamzatul istifa. Fine. Alam, you know lam, brothers and sisters, harfu nafiin, wa jazmin, wa kalmin. Okay. What is tomin? Failun mudariun, majzumun bi sukun. Fail mustatil takdiruhu anta. Very good, brothers and sisters. Kala. Now this is Hadrat Ibrahim saying Kala, Bala. This is harfu jawab actually. You know, Bala. Walakin. Harfu atf. What is lakin? Without shadda. Have we studied this? Inshallah we'll soon study. But I've hinted you many times. It is the lighter form. Uh, what is it? Lakinna is the proper form. Lakin, lighter form. What is the difference? Meaning wise, no difference. But the difference is, if you use lakinna, then it must have a jumla ismiya after that. And lakinna must have ismu lakinna and khabar lakinna. But if you use lighter form, then you can use it anywhere. Jumla ismiya, jumla failure, that doesn't matter. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Here we are. Walakin. Li, what is li? La mutalil. Eh? In order to. Are you with me, brother? What kind of a verb is this? Yatma'inna. What kind of a verb is this, brother and sisters? We haven't studied. So, uh, you, I won't ask you for sambosas. <laughs> okay? You haven't studied, huh? Okay. But soon we are going to study. Huh? It's a very beautiful verb. This is like fail falafi, mujarrat. There is a fail rubai mujarrat. Remember I told you, tarjama, zalzala, harwala, basara. These are all fail rubai. Similarly, there is a fail rubai. What is it? Tamana. Now in the fail rubai, also there are derived forms. Mazid fihi. Huh? So this is one of the forms of fail rubai. Mazid fihi. And what is it, brother? What is the verb? It ma'anna. We are going to study this. There is a whole lesson for Fail Rubai. A very beautiful lesson. Okay. Itma Anna. Make it Mudaria. Yat. Yat. Ma. Inno. Are you with me? What is the meaning of Itma Anna? Huh? To, to, be, to be assured. Huh? To feel assured. Huh? Or to feel peace, comfortable, tranquil. 
uh, to feel in your heart. Uh, it is intransitive, does not need mafulun bi. You feel assured, you are at peace, you have no doubts now. Uh, everything is clear to your satisfaction. You feel satisfied. Uh, itma'anna is to feel satisfied also. Fine, brothers and sisters, itma'anna. So, li yatma'innu. Five in your pocket? Uh, you can say that. But, okay, let's leave it at yatma'inna because the verb is yatma'inna. But when you put li, it will become yatma'inna. Got the idea? Okay, now let us try and make mustar. Those who know Urdu, they know it, but they cannot spell it. Mutma'in is a smooth file. Mutma'in is a smooth file. Mu. Okay. What is it? It cannot have a smooth maful. Why? Because it is intransitive. All these things, we must have it in your mind. Huh? Okay? It will not have a sum maful because it is intransitive. Very important rule huh? to remember. Okay, brothers and sisters. What is the master, sister? See, I told you, you know it, but you cannot spell it. Huh? Because you got to understand. Huh? It ma'anna. So when you say itminan, Sometimes you are eating away Hamza, you are too hungry. Okay? So what will be? It It me It me Naan Got the idea? You don't pronounce that way. Huh? You always eat your Hamza. Are you with me? What is this, Sister Maimuna? Sister Aisha? Sister Maria? Mustar. From Itma Anna. Yatma Innu. Itmi Anan. Huh? We say Itmi Anan, but it is Itmi Anan. Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm taking a lot of time. Sister Abir, I'm trying to explain you all in detail. Huh? Taking extra time so that you feel how we are going to study Quran, brothers and sisters. Inshallah. Lakin has a special name, you know, but we are going to study this also later on, inshallah. Li, what is Li? La mutalil. And yatma inna fi'alun mudariyun mansubun bil fatah. Where is the file? Kalbu. Kalbu is the file. Wa huwa mudar and then mudar. So that my heart feels assured. Uh, I feel satisfied. So show me how you give life to the dead so that I feel assured. I, I'm at, then at, satisfied. Then I have no doubts. Uh, that's the meaning of it, Sister Naima. Number four, brother and sister. Haza khalqullahi. Haza mubtada khalqu. Khabar mudah mudafiri. Fa. So, Harfu Atf, Aruni. Now, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking all of us. Uh, Allah Himself is now Bafulun Bihi number one. Okay? Aru, Felu Amrin Mabnun Allah. Arvinun. Where is the file? Wow. Okay. Fine. Eh? And then nu. Then maza will be your mafulun bihi number two. Maza khalkal ladina min dunihi. Okay. Or this whole jumla can be the mafulun bihi number two. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sometimes, you know, uh, when you uh, try to analyze in your mind and you think this is the, the most uh, correct analysis and then I always recommend that we have so many good books then we can always check them to verify whether the way I understood is this the way the scholar are explaining the grammatical analysis and we have books brothers and sisters 
that will help you, inshallah. Huh? They are very beautiful books we have. We have collected a treasure for you. But that treasure will be useful once you finish three books, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Maza khalaka ladina. Khalaka ladina. Khalaka is fiel. Where is the file? Al ladina. Mindunihi. Other than him. Okay? So what will be the translation? This is the creation of Allah. So show me what other have created other than Allah. Is there anybody in the world who can say, I have created this out of nothing. Uh, Henry Ford, if he made a car, he did not create it. The things were already there. The steel was there. The gas was there. Everything was there. So he just used his mind and made a car. But the, the gas, the oil, the steel, the rubber, who created? The wood, who created? Allah created. So no, can anybody in the world say, I created this out of nothing? No. Only Allah. Only Allah. Okay, brother and sister, number five. I'm taking so much time. But I love analyzing Quran, brother and sister. I, I, I feel so, you know, I can taste each and every word. And inshallah, you will too, you know, and enjoy, okay? The beauty and the magic of Quran. Brother and sister, number five is my favorite verse. I want you to pay attention. Huh? Now, let me tell you from the outset, Sister Maimuna, Brother Muhammad, Brother Hassan, number five deals with jewels. Keep in mind. Huh? There are jewels in that. Are you with me? So, Kala Ladina Kafaru. Okay. I sometimes feel like telling a story. Huh? Telling a story, brother. This ayah relates to the scene after Yom al Qiyama. Yom al Qiyama has come. The accounts are settled. Those who do, did good deeds, they are in Jannah. And those who did evil things, they are in Jahannam. Okay? Then a voice from Jahannam comes. Huh? Then the voice from the Jahannam comes. What is that voice? Kala ladina kafaru. That those who disbelieved in this world, the, 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 who disbelieved in Quran, who disbelieved in, in Allah, as the only one to be worshipped, who disbelieved that, who disbelieved prophets, who disbelieved in Yomul Qiyamah, there is no such thing as Yomul Qiyamah. Huh? Now they are the people, Kala Ladina. Huh? So what is uh, Kala? Fial. Where is the file? Al Ladina. Huh? And what is Kafaru? Huh? Fial Mati. Mabnir al Dhamma. Okay? Those who disbelieved. Huh? And where is the file? Wow. Huh? And that wow, Yadullu Allah, Allah Zina. Are you with me? So, no, there is a voice coming from the Jahannam. What is that voice? Rabbana. Oh. Somebody is calling Allah. Huh? Rabbana. What is Rabba? Munada Mansur. Huh? And what is Na? Mudafilehi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Where is Ya? Harfunida? Ma'azuf. Okay? Please, uh, if I say something, uh, forgive me if uh, uh, you know, think that I, I, I am not saying right, but I'm just expressing my thoughts. Okay? Brothers and sisters. So here, brothers and sisters, a voice comes from the Jahannam. Rabbana. So Allah says, what's the problem? Why are you calling? Huh? Didn't you get what you deserved? I am very just. I had warned you. 
that if you will do evil deeds, your place will be Jahannam. So why are you calling me now? Now you stay in Jahannam forever and ever. Okay? So he says, they say, no, 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 no. We are not complaining that we are in Jahannam. We are in Jahannam because of our deeds. But there is something else. So Allah says, what is that? What is that you are asking me now? What are they asking me? <laughs> Show us. Huh? They are asking. They are not complaining about their condition because they know they deserve it. Now they are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Arina. So what is Ari? What is Ari? Fellow Amrin, Mabniunala, Mabniunala, Haswarfi Allah. Okay? And then, brothers and sisters, Na, who's Na? Mafulun Bihi. Number one. We need two Mafulun Bihi, number one. Where is the Mafulun Bihi, number two? Huh? No. Brothers and sisters, watch for it. I told you, I hinted you. What did I hint you? Huh? Al-Lazi. Huh? Al-Lazani. Huh? Are you with me? And then, Al-Lazina. Are you with me? Are you with me, brother and sister? Al-Lazi, Al-Lazani, and Al-Lazina. Okay, brother, I will put Shadda here to make it even more clear. Okay, when you write, Al-Lazani, then there are two lambs, okay? But when you write Al-Lazi and Al-Lazina, there is a one single lamb, okay? Now, brothers and sisters, what is Al-Lazi? Mabni. What is Al-Lazina? Mabni. What is Al-Lazani? Dual. Muharram. We Lesson number one, book three. Are you with me? Al-Lazani. Make it mansub. Allazaini. Allah Make it majroor. Allazaini. Got the idea? So here, Allazaini is, what is it? Mafulun bihi number two for Ari. So it is Mansub wa alamatu nasbihi al yau li annahu mufanna. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Did you get it, brother Hassan? This is very beautiful, brother Hassan. Honestly, when I, you know, I was trying to study this and when I fully understood, I felt a special joy that, you know, I can understand each and every word and the beauty of those words, you know. So, Rabbana arinal lazaini. Huh? Arinal lazaini. Brother, Allazi, I don't know how many hundreds of times it comes in the Quran. And Allazina also, I think, it comes hundreds of times. There are numbers there also in the book. How many times Allah came? How many times Allah Zina came? I think Allah okay, has only come once. And it is in this uh, verse. I think I am right, but forgive me if I am incorrect in my saying. Okay? Okay, brother and sister, I warned you about duels. Allah Adalla. What is Adalla? Sister Hafsa. What is Adalla? Mahdi. What is this then? Form 4. Very good. And what else? Dual. Mashallah. Where is the file? Aleph is your file. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Adalla. What is the word? Huh? Adalla. What will be the mudariya? Yudillu. Huh? Okay, let's conjugate. Adalla. Adalla. Adallu. So here it is our Adalla. Okay? Adalla. And what is this? 
na mafulun bihi. But where is the file in Adallah? Al Alif. Alif is your file. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? Okay, min al jinni from the jinns. Well, in si. Ji, you can be misguided by jinn and you can be misguided by a fellow human being who misguides you and takes you from the worship of Allah. Huh? He takes you away from the worship of Allah. Are you with me? Because shaitan has taken a covenant, brother, from Allah that I am going to mislead the progeny of Adam. Allah says, go ahead, do it. But there will be some of my servants, you will never be able to mislead them. Huh? But then the others, shaitan will mislead them. And those misled will become the companions of shaitan in the hellfire. All these things I am not telling from myself. They are all in the Quran for others to read it and see it. Huh? That there are two uh, creation of Allah who can mislead. And they are human beings and they are the jinns. Okay? Fine brothers and sisters. This is what the person in the people in the hell are asking. Sure. So what Allah says to them? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sister Mamuna, you forgot something. Huh? Yeah, no, no, no. Then Allah says something to them. They are asking Allah to show us those two who mislead us in the world. Huh? So what is Allah saying? No, this is again, I'm making my own story. Allah is saying, if I show you, Remember I said, if I show you, <laughs> if I show you, what will you do? Then the jawab comes. <laughs> Are you with me? Huh? If you show me, Ya Allah, then what will I do to them? Naj'al, we will make them. Huh? Naj'al huma, both of them. Tahta aqdamina, we'll put them under our feet. Are you with me? Huh? Li yakuna. This is Lamu Ta'aleel. What is yakuna? Yakunani. Huh? Yakuna is mansub. Huh? Bihadfi noon. Are you with me? Where is the ism of yakuna? Aleph. Where is it? Aleph. Huh? Huh? So that they, they become minal asfar. The lowest of the low in the hell. We want to be on top of the hell. And those who misguided us, they should be under our feet. Now, brothers and sisters, I ask you something. Naj'al. What is Naj'al? What is it? Naj'al. Naj'al, majzum. Why it is majzum? No, this is not Amr. Naj'al is fi'lun, mudariun, majzumun, bithukun, fa'il, mustatir, takdiruhu. Nahmi. So what is, why it is majzum? You can say that, then you have to tell me the shart. Where is the shart? No. If, ji? Masha'Allah, now you got it. It is Jawabu Talab. Where is the Talab? <laughs> See, how many things you have to know, Brother Muhammad? It is Majzum. Why it is Majzum, I'm asking you. We have studied it. So, it is Majzum because it is coming as a Jawabu Talab. So, where is the Talab? Ari. What is Ari? Amar. Remember? Amar. La nahiya, these are all talab, talab and jawabu talab. Huh? So one has to, you know, think. Huh? When you read something, think. When you see something majzum, you have to ask yourself, why? Why? Are you with me? Now the thing is, you can insert, you can insert a shat there. I want you to insert a shat. 
This is not in the Quran. This is for our understanding, brother. So, the people are saying, show us huh, the one who misled us. Show us from the jinn and the human being who misled us. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Who misled us. If you show them to us, so what will be the then shart? In, uh, brothers and sisters, in, no, it, the, uh, it, it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In, to read, and then, na. Are you with me? In to rina. Huh? Okay. In to rina. Alladaini adallana. Are you with me? In to rina. Alladaini. Huh? And then I'm just putting dot, dot, dot. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. I, you, there are two ways of explaining Naj'al. One is that it is Jawabu Talab. Where is the Talab? Ari. Or the other thing is the Aratu Shart and Felu Shart Mahzuf. And what is that? Into, if you show us those two, then we are going to put them under our feet. So then Naj'al becomes Jawabu Shart. Are you with me? Did you, did you get it? Sister Suhaina? Huh? Then the Naj'al will become Jawab Shart. Are you with me? Or you will say Naj'al is huh? Jawab Talab. Are you with me? Please write down just for your information because I told you sometimes if you explain or if you understand something in the light of Adatu shart and fi'lu shart mahzuf, it has got a little more punch in it. Huh? This is to be understood. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Okay. Li yakuna, you understood li yakuna properly, brothers and sisters? Naj al huma tahta akdamina. Tahta, what is tahta, brothers and sisters? Zarf, what is akdami? Mudafile, wa huwa mudaf, and na mudafilehi. Li la mutalil yakuna felun mudariun nakisun mansubun bihadfi nun. Where is the ism of? Alif. Alif is the ism of. Minal asfalin. Okay, brother and sister. The lowest asfala, brother and sisters, lower, inferior, huh? the bottom. The bottom, minal asfalina, so that they be, they they become the lowest in the hell, and we are on top of them. They are under our feet. Inshallah, you got the idea, brothers and sisters. Okay. Yujra, brothers and sisters, what is the verb? Ajra. Ajra yujri. So yujra is majhul, means carry out. Huh? Tamrinani, this is your knife file. Shafuyani is your knot. And this is another knot, al atiyani. The following uh, oral exercise carry out. Okay, what is it, brother? Yakulul talibuli zamilihi. A student says to his colleague, the student says to his colleague, Arini kitabaka. We did this before, brothers and sisters. Huh? We did that. Wa yujibuhu. What is yujibu? Huh? Ajaba yujibu. Ajaba yujibu. And he replies, his uh, uh, friend, saying, Kailan, saying, Sa, uh, yeah. Correct. Sister Sukhena, this is how Kailan saying Sauri ka hu. Sauri ka hu. Where is the verb? Uri. 
ka who is maful be one and number two ha ba da qalil aur sa uri ka ha whatever you want to show is it uh, you want to show the house or you want to show a book or you want to show a watch or you want to show a car uh, whatever it is okay or he will say la uri ka hu i won't show it got the idea brothers and sisters inshallah yaqul al mudarrisu li kulli talibin what is the first hamza hamza to istifa and next what is what is the next hamza that is the hamza of the verb a araita did you show me daftaraka did you show me your book ha huh? remember so make sure you understand ha huh? let me write down brothers and sisters a uh, this is your hamzatul istifam this is your verb ha huh? and this is okay brothers and sisters where is the verb this is your verb and what is this five and what is this mafulun bi and what is this mafulun bi got the idea brothers and sisters inshallah this way your understanding will become very strong are you with me brothers and sister a hamdatul istifam araita ni did you show me your book what is the answer wa yujibuhu qailan naam what is the answer if you have a typo please correct it araitu kahu araitu what is the answer is there a typo there yes. i knew there was a typo there huh? what is the thing brother a rai tu ka ha huh? ka hu where is the verb brothers and sisters arai ha huh? where is the file and what are these two mafulun bihi ha huh? got the idea brothers and sisters okay tell me one thing what is the translation of it arai tu ka hu i have showed it to you i have showed it to you got the idea alhamdulillah brothers and sisters now we come to the next thing that dr abdurahim wants to explain us brothers and sisters for this i would like to go to the key page number 77 page number 76 and 77 i will read it brother start from here huh? keep your highlighter handy and pencil handy brothers and sisters this bab the bottom on page number 76 this bab are you with me this bab page 76 this bab what is this bab brother we are talking about form 2 we are talking about form 2 this bab also signifies an extensive or intensive action full stop in arabic the first one is called atakfiru huh? and the second will is called al mubalagha huh? al mubalagha now remember these two words brother if you can and if you can't then extensive and intensive is good enough huh? and then some after a little while you'll become very strong you'll be able to say without any difficulty now dr abdurahim is explaining us what is the extensive action okay then extensive an extensive action is one done on a large scale okay or then repeatedly one action but then it is done over and over and over and over again but normally we should concentrate on the the line what is the line says an extensive action is 
one done on a large scale. Okay, brothers and sisters. Okay, see Katala. Now Katala is Fail Sulasi. Are you with me? Katala al Mujrimu Rajulan. The criminal killed a man. Fine, brother. Now what is the next sentence? Katala al Mujrimu. Ahl al Kariyati. So here the Katala means to massacre. Katala is to kill. Katala is also to kill, but on a large scale. Got the idea? So in form two, there's strength in the action. Okay? I'm going to write it down something for you. Okay, brothers and sisters. The criminal massacred the people of the village. Okay. Now, Jultu. What is the base form of Jultu? Jala. What is it? Jala. And it is Bab uh, Nasara. Like Kala. Kala Kultu. Jala Jultu. Jultu Fihazal Balad. Means I went around this country. Okay. But if you say Javaltu, means you traveled extensively. Huh? I traveled extensively all over the world. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Javaltu fi masharikil ard wa magari biha. Fine, brothers and sisters. Fatahtul bab. I open the door. But if you, but there are, in a masjid, there are about 20 doors. Then you will say, Fatahtu. Got the idea? Okay. Because you open everything, you know. Fatahtu abwabal fusun. Abwabal Fosuli means I opened the doors of all the classrooms. Okay? Now here you will use Fatahtu because you did an action extensively. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Adda Rajalu Malahu. The man counted his money. Got an idea, brothers and sisters? The man counted his money. But if he counts over and over and over and over, okay, then what will you say? Like a miser, he wants to count his money every hour, you know, to make sure nothing is missing. Okay, then you will say, Addada. Huh? The man repeatedly counted the money. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now comes B. An intensive action is one done thoroughly and with a great force. This is, you must highlight this, brother and sister. This is very important. That action is done thoroughly and it is done with great force. And it is done uh, only once. The action is done once only but with great force and it is done thoroughly. Are you with me, brother and sisters? See, kasartul kuba. What is the meaning of kasartul kuba? I broke the cup. But if you say, Kasartul Kuba means you smash, you, you broke it into pieces. Uh, you smashed it and you broke it into pieces, you know. Okay. Katatul Habla. What is the meaning? I cut the rope. But if you say Katatul Habla means you cut the rope in several pieces. So this is now intensive. Okay. Note. Now this is of very, uh, uh, this point is very important. Note that the extensive action affects a number of objects. Are you with me? In other words, whenever you will do extensive a action, the chances are the object is in plural. What is it? The object is in plural. Huh? Okay. Or one object many times. Okay, whereas an intensive action affects only one object and only once but with great force. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now I want you to write down a sentence because it will be easier in the initial stage of our study to, to understand the gist of all this. Huh? The gist of all this. There is no need you know, and this is because you will get confused. But as you will revise, and as your mind will become strong and strong, 
then you will be able to see the, the finer points in it. Huh? I want you to, now brothers and sisters, write this. In form 2, are you with me brother and sister? The meaning of form 1 is This sentence will make things a little clear for you. The meaning of form 1, the meaning of, write down here, of the form 1 is strengthened. Huh? Okay. Kasara, kasara. Okay. Katala, katala. Kataa, kataa. Are you with me? Now, this can result either in extensive action or intensive action. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Javal to fi mashariq al ard wa magari biha, I, that is to say, Jul to fiya kathiran. I traveled a lot. Got the idea? So, what is kathiran? Extensive. Remember? Kathiran is extensive. Yunkalu fialu ila bab fa'ala. The verb is shifted to this bab. Limani minha. For the meaning from it is, what is it? A takthiru. What is a takthiru? Write down extensive. And mubalaga, intensive. Are you with me, brother and sister? This is what we read in the key. A takfir means extensive. Are you with me? And mualaga means intensive. Huh? Now, jawala, okay, that is to say, jala kathiran. Huh? Traveled a lot. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Means he traveled extensively. Tawwafa. One is tawafa. Tawafa means he did many, many tawaf. Okay. I tawafa kathiran. So whenever you say kathiran, it is taksir. Extensive. Are you with me, brother and sister? Now comes kattala. What is the meaning of kattala? To massacre. I balaga fil katli. Okay. He overdid. Ah, mubalaga. Huh? That is mubalaga. Kassara. What is the meaning of kassara? To smash, to break into pieces. Huh? Write down to smash. Huh? I balaga fil kasri. Katta. What is the meaning of katta? To cut into small pieces. To cut into small pieces. I balaga fil kata'i. I balaga fil kata'i. Brothers, Addada. Adda is to count. Addada is to count over and over and over again. I Adda Kathiran. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, there are two sentences after that in the book. I want you to highlight them. And if you have two different highlights, use them, brother. Because one is Kathir. Okay? Okay, and one is Mubalaga. What is the difference, brother? Look at it. If you see more than one object, if you see the object is plural, then it is tak taksir. Huh? If you see a singular object, then it is intensive. A Mubalaga. Got the idea, brother and sisters? What is the huh? Kasartu Aklama? Huh? Okay, I, this is extensive. I broke many pens. Huh? But if you say, kasartul kalam, then you means you broke that poor pen into several pieces. Huh? Are you with me? So, kasartul kalam is mubalaga. One object. Are you with me? And kasartul aklama, what is aklama? 
objects, many objects, eh? inshallah. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters. Again, see the beauty of book three. What is the beauty of book three, brothers and sisters? More Quran. Eh? Alhamdulillah. Fit tanzili. Inna al-ladhina kazzabu bi ayatina wastakbaru anha. Okay. La tufattahu lahum abwaab al-samai. Wala yadkhuluna janna hatta yalija al-jamalu fi sammil khayati. Brother, this is so beautiful. The Quran will become more and more enlightening if you ponder over it. Huh? If you think over Quran, I am only talking about Quran, brother. The verses of the Quran, one must ponder over it. Huh? Okay, but then she said, Inna lazina. What is lazina? Ismuhinna. Mansub. Okay, ismabni. Okay. Kazabu. And now, uh, no, 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 no. Lazina has come to what is the Kazabu has to be? Silatul Mahsul. Don't jump. Huh? Brother and sister, we are sometimes impatient. Uh, we sometimes uh, say Silatul Mahsul right away. And sometimes we ignore Silatul Mahsul. <laughs> okay. Kazabu bi ayatina vastakbaru anha. La tufatiru. This is your khabar, brother and sister. What is this? This jumla, failure will be your khabar. Hmm. What is the translation? Those who deny, disbelieve, those who disbelieve in the signs of Allah. Huh? And brother, Quran is a sign of Allah. Huh? And if you disbelieve, then it means you disbelieved in the sign of Allah. Okay? Wastakbaru, and not only you disbelieve, uh, and on top of that, you became arrogant. Like Fir'aun. Are you with me? And there are many people in the world like Fir'aun. I don't have to name them. Are you with me? You got my message? Yeah. <laughs> anha. What is Anha? Ha goes to the Ayati. Ayati, na, okay. La tufattahu. What is this, brother? Tufattahu. Majhul. This is your fail mudarya. Majhul. Okay. Lahum. Where is knife file? Abwaabu. Wahua. Mudaf. And then Mudafilehi. Wala yadkhuluna janna. They will never enter janna. Huh? I'm using never. It's not mentioned never. Uh, they will not enter Jannah. But I am saying never and I have a reason for that. Uh, they will not enter Jannah. Hatta. What is the meaning of Hatta? Ila. Till. Till. Uh, yalija. What is this verb brother? What is Mahdi? Walaja. Uh, what is the Mahdi? Walaja. What is Walaja? Al Misal al Wavi. What is it? Al Misal Al Wabi. What is Mudarya? Yaliju. Father, it is Yalija. And there is no typo here. An is hidden in Hatta. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. We got to think. Hatta has come. An Mudmara. Huh? The An is hidden. Which is what makes the fail Mudarya? Mansu. Okay. So, what is the meaning of Walaja uh, Yaliju to enter? Also means to penetrate. But enter is the common meaning. Al Jamalu. Camel. Till the camel enters. Fi Samil Khayat. What is the Samil Khayat? The eye of the needle. The tiny hole is the eye of the needle. They will not enter Jannah. Till the camel enters the eye of the needle. But tell me, is the camel going to enter? No, it will never enter. So that is why I said they will never. So see how Allah is trying to warn us. Next one, brother. Alladhi jama'a malan. He collected the wealth. And after that? Wa'addadahu. He counted it over and over again. Huh? Okay. Qala, huh? 
Sanukatilu Abna Ahum. What is the translation of this, brother? We will massacre their children. Again, the Fir'aun, brother. So, whenever you see more than one Mafulun uh, Bihi, it is Taksir, brother. Uh, inshallah, you will understand. Huh? Okay. Now, brother, look at this. This is from, this is from Surah Yusuf. When uh, the wife of the master of Yusuf, huh? the nobleman who bought Yusuf and brought him to his house, when his wife tried to lure him, entice him, and he said, no, I am afraid of Allah. I can't do anything wrong. I cannot touch you. I cannot bow down to your wishes. Okay? So what she did, brother, one day? Abwaaba. Huh? So what is the meaning of abwaaba? Doors. More than one object. She closed all the doors. How can I say she? Tautani si. Tautani si tells me the action was done by a, a lady. Huh? And where is Gallaka? Where is the file? Mostater. Takadiruhu. Here. And that was Zulekha. Are you with me? Uh, you understand that, inshallah. Fajallahum ahadisa. And we will make them the tells. Brother and sister, ahadisa means they have gone. Those people are wiped out from the earth. What is from the history? What is left is their tells in the history. Huh? Those who do wrong, Allah punishes them. And the history is there to testify it, brothers and sisters. فَجَعَلْنَهُمْ أَحَادِيسًا وَمَذَّكَنَهُمْ What is the mazzak, brother? Mazzaka. Mazzaka also to tear them to sh- pieces, shreds. Huh? Brother, what happens to our body, brother? It becomes shreds. Okay? كُلَّ مُمَذَّكِنْ Oh, 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 oh. Brother, mumazakin. Huh? And here, this kulla can be, brothers and sisters, mafulun mutlak. Huh? Because mafulun mutlak has come as a mudafili. Huh? Okay. What is the translation, brother? That we'll make them tells and we will, we will shred them uh, with total destruction. Huh? With Total destruction. Nothing will be left of them. Is najainakum min ali fir'auna. When we save them, najja yunajji. Najja yunajji. When we save them from the all of fir'aun, Min harfchar, al isam majroor, wa huwa mudaf, and fir'auna mudaf ilayhi bil fatha, li annahu mamnu min asar. Yathumuna kum. What is the meaning of yathumuna kum? What is the verb, brother? Sama yasumu. Like kala yakulu. What is the meaning of sama, brother? To humiliate. To degrade, to oppress the way our brothers and sisters in Gaza are humiliated, oppressed and degraded. By the same people whom Fir'aun degraded and oppressed. Now the oppressed has become the oppressor. Brother. It's very unfortunate. May Allah guide them, brother. Suwal Azabi. Brother, they used to degrade you with evil treatment. Are you with me? What is after that? This is what is of our importance. You zabbihona, zabbaha. Not slaughter on a mass scale. 
Yuzabihuna Abana Akum. They used to slaughter your children. Not one, but all of them. Okay, you got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Okay, next item on the agenda. The nature of Shah, inshallah. Let us drink the tea, inshallah. We are back, brothers and sisters. Now, brother, again we must remember that there are forms of expression in language. Every language has a form of expression. Now, in this we should not go too much in detail. Huh? Brother Hassan was asking me, what is the difference between this iyaka and then iyaka na'abadu? But iyaka na'abadu, that is mafulun bihi. Here it is not mafulun bihi. I did say to you yesterday, iya is kind of a fellow amr. Huh? Because it is war, you are, you are warning somebody, stay away. You are giving somebody an order, stay away, beware. Huh? So this is what is it? It's an order. Okay? So iyaka, and then the war will come. And after that, the noun will be mansu. We only try to understand this way of expression. Brother. So, what is the meaning of iyaka wazanna? It means, you know, you stay away from guessing. It's not good for you. Okay? Hada, hada tahziru. What is this? Hada tahziru. Okay, brother? Tahziru. Master, form to, what is the, what is the verb? Hazara. What is the meaning of Hazara? To warn somebody. Eh? To caution somebody. Hazara, you Hazziru. Wahuwa. Uh, brother, what is after that? Huwa. Tanbihu. Tanbihu. What is it? Mashallah. <laughs> See, your, your mind will work now. Nabbaha. You nabbihu. What is the meaning of nabbaha? To draw somebody's attention. What is it? To draw somebody's attention. Tanbihul mukhatabi. Yani drawing of the attention of the person with whom you are speaking. Damir mukhatab. Second person. Are you with me? Second person. What is second person? Mukhatab. With whom you are speaking, okay? Tanbi is also master. Ala amrin makruhin, brother, about a thing which is objectionable, not nice, huh? which is damaging, which is can cause trouble, can cause harm, brothers and sisters. Okay, so here. And what is the next one, brother and sister? Li yajitani bahu. Ijitanaba yajitani bu. Ijitanaba yajitani bu. Li la mutalil. Yajitani ba ba. Mansub. Who is? Mafulun bi. So what is the meaning of ijitanaba? Huh? To avoid. To avoid. To shun. And the same way, brothers and sisters, ijtanaba. Or what did I write? Both of them to avoid. Are you with me? Ijtanaba, what form is this? Form it. Tajannaba, form five. Are you with me? Can you think of this word you, that we say in the Quran, brother? Sabbi isma rabbi kalala, alladhi khalaka fasawwa. See, all these verbs of form 2 are coming here. Alladhi akhraja. Form 4. Akhraja al-mara. Fajalahu gusa'an ahwa. 
sa nukriu ka, what is nukriu ka? Akraa, you know, akraa, yukriu, huh? karaa, he read. When you say akraa, you make someone read. So, sa nukriu ka, we will make you read. Allah is saying to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sa nukriu ka, so what is nukriu ka? Form four, what is the root? Kara, huh? okay. Again I say, kara, he read. Akara, someone else made him read. Are you with me? Sanukriyuka, fala tansa. Illa masha Allah. Innahu yalamul jahal. Wa ma yakhfa. Wa nuyassiruka lil yusra. Fazakir in nafate zikra. Sayazakaru man yaksha. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yatajannavu al ashka. Ashka is the fire. Uh, the evilest person hmm, will avoid it. Uh, they will avoid the Quran. Okay. Now, brother, I'm not saying. Allah is saying in the Quran. Are you with me? Inshallah, someday, when we finish our course, we'll take this verse. Uh, and we can easily analyze and understand each and every word in it. Huh? You'll be able to follow it, inshallah. Beautiful, beautiful, and easy. Huh? There are some verses, they are difficult to analyze because uh, they are a little complicated. We, you know, you need a still more experience with the language, you know. But there are others which, inshallah, we'll be able to analyze with ease. Yeah. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters. What is the meaning of ha'a? Khuz. Take. Amsilatan lahu. Take examples for it. Okay. Okay, brother and sister. What did I say? Mukhatab. Okay. How many pronouns in Mukhatab? How many pronouns in Mukhatab? Ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna. Six. Huh? Okay. So, Ya Bunaya, oh my son. Are you with me? So you are addressing one masculine. Mazakka. Iyaka wal kilaba. What is kilaba? Dogs. Huh? The kalbum and kilab. Huh? Ya Bunaya. Stay away from the dogs. Now we say, Ya Binti, Iyaki wal kilab. But got the idea? Stay away from, beware of the uh, dogs. And then, brothers and sisters, Iyakum, all of you, Ya Abunai, Iyakum wal Kilaba. Okay? And then, Iyakunna wal Kilaba, Ya Banati. Okay? Now, here are some more sentences, brother. Ya Ali, so what will be? Iyaka. Wahaza al walada. Are you with me? Fa innahu kazabun. What is kazabun, brother? No, liar, liar is kazibun. Kazabun. Who repeatedly lies? Who lies all the time? Huh? This is, this is mubalaga. Huh? We are going to learn. This is called shigatul mubalaga. There is an intensity in it, you know. Okay, fine. Then, Ya Zainab, Iyaki wal Kasla. Translate, brother. Beware of laziness. Stay away from being lazy, Ya Zainab. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Iyakum wa Tadakhim. Stay away from smoking. Fa innahu sababu. Amaradin muhlikatin. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, stay away from smoking. After iya ka kuma kum ki kuma kunna, vow will come. Huh? In this expression, vow will come. And then the noun after vow will be mansu. Huh? Will be mansu, inshallah. Very good. Okay, brother. Iyakum watadakhini fa innahu sababu amaradin 
muhallakatin. Okay, brother? What is amradin? This is jama, disease. Huh? Mardun, amrad, disease, huh? jama. Okay? The reason of the disease. What kind of a disease, brother? What is mulhak? It is not, correct. But more than that, it is ism file. It is ism file. Huh? What is the verb? Ahlaka yuhiliku, to destroy. Huh? To destroy something. Okay? So it is the reason of a fatal disease. Disease that will kill you, destroy you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We say mortal disease. That will take your life away. Okay, fine, brother. Iya kunna fahadihil majallati. Too much fashion inside. Are you with me? Some magazines are, you know, they can influence our children very badly, brother. So, Iya kunna fahadihil majallati. See, majallati, mansub. Okay, Iya khawati. Okay. Kala nabiyu. Iya kum. Well, hasada. Stay away from jealousy. Fa in al hasada, ya kulu hasanat. Al hasanati. What is al hasanati? Al hasanati. Jama muhannas salim. So, ya kulu al hasanati. Mafulun bihi. Huh? What is it? Mafulun bihi mansub bil kasra. Li annahu jama muannas salim. Kama taakulun naru al hatab. Are you with me? Stay away from hasad. Because the jealousy eats away your good deeds. All your good deeds are eaten away by jealousy as the fire eats the wood. Are you with me? That's the meaning of it. Wa qala alayhi salatu wa salam iyakum wal julusa bit turukati. Stay away from sitting uh, in the middle of the roads, you know. Wa qala sallallahu alayhi wa salam wa iyakum. Well, muhadathati, muhadathatil umuri, mudaf mudafili. Muhadathatil umuri, mudaf mudafili. What is that? Umur? Things. Things. Matters. Affairs. Create, created matters. You know, you create something new in the religion. And what is that? Bida. Okay? Fa innaha dalalatun. Because it is going astray. Mohadasa. Huh? What will that be, brother and sister? It is some mafool. From? Ahadasa. What is it? Ahadasa. Are you with me? Yuhdifu. Mohadifu. Mohadas. And Mohadasati. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Very good, brother. Now you got to do it. Yourself. This is very easy, brother. Inshallah, you will be able to do it. Or let us try to do it here. Ya khawati. So what will you say? Ya kunna wal sufura. What is sufura? Unveiling of your face. Huh? Unveiling of your face. Okay? Or in, you can say also, not wearing hijab. But here, it is unveiling of your face. Brother and sister, Ya Khawati. Ya Uthman. So what will you say? Iyaka wal kaziba. Ba. Mansu. Ya Uthman. Fine, brother. Ya Azza. Now that is the name of a sister. So what will you say? Iyaki wal hasada. Ya Azza. An-namimatu. What is an-namimatu? Backbiting. Slander. Huh? Spreading wrong. 
uh, spreading information which is not correct, brother. Defamation, you can say. Ya Hawaiya, oh brother. Ya Hawaiya. How will you start? Ya. Ya Kuma. Two. Ya Kuma. One Namimata. Ya Hawaiya. Ya Tufalu. So what will you say now? Ya Kum. One Nuzula. Min al Hafilati. Wahia. Tasiru. Sara Yasiru. While the bus is moving, you know. Fine, brother and sister. Tabarruju. What is Tabarruju, brother? Putting on extra makeup. What is it? Makeup. Huh? Our children, they watch television and they want all these things, you know. So, ya, bintaya. Okay, again, brother, bintaya. How many? Two. Ya kuma wal tabarruja. But what is tabarruja? Form five. Form five. What is it? Master. Master of form five. Hmm? Tabarraja is to adorn yourself, to make yourself more beautiful with artificial things, brother. Ayyuhal Muslimuna. So what will you say? Iyakum wal bid'ata. Ayyuhal Muslimuna. Okay, now, brothers and sisters, we come to something very nice. Brother, I, I took a lot of time in this lesson. Huh? Because I thought we should do it well. And still, it's, it's going to take us another... Uh, you know, this session plus a little bit of the next session. Okay? But inshallah we'll do it, brother. In Nama Yakzibu, brother. In Nama, you have to understand this very well, huh, brother? Asluha inna ittasalat biha ma za'ida. Wa tusamma hadihi ma al kafa. Brother, what is this? Ma, ma is monas, remember? It is the letter of alphabet, so it is monas. So, kaffa. Brother and sister, what is it? Kaffa. Ya. Kuf. Fu. To cancel. Huh? Making some file from kaffa. Kafifun. What will be? Kafifun, which will be changed into? Kafun. Make it more nice now. Kafatun. What will you say? Kafatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Ma Zaida is called, what is it called, brothers and sisters? Ma al Kafa. The Ma. Which cancels. Lianaha, because she takufu inna anal amali. What is the amal of inna? Mansu. It makes the ism mansu. So when you add ma, the inna is still harfu tawheed. But the effect of his nasab has been now cancelled by ma zaira. So in other words, after in Nama, you can have Jumla Ismiya as well as Jumla Failia. Okay? But in Nama only Jumla Ismiya. And after in Nama, if Jumla Ismiya comes, the Muftada will remain Muftada. It will not be called Ismuna anymore because that thing has been cancelled by the Ma Zaida. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I want you to write down something else for in Nama. Huh? Very important, brother. Very, very important. I want you to write down. In Nama. What is in Nama? To feed you.
You must write down and inshallah highlight that. Huh? It's very important. So normally we say, brothers and sisters, Inna harfu taqid wa nasbin kuffa amaluhu is is amal is cancelled. Kuffa amaluhu. Are you with me? I'm saying kuffa majhul. Huh? Kuffa amaluhu. It's amal is cancelled. But then you must also say and emphasize that innama tufidu hasar. What is the meaning of hasar? Limitation. What is the meaning of hasar, brothers and sisters? Hasar is limitation. Restriction. Confinement. You can also write down. Confinement. Limiting something. You limit something. Now in English, this is translated as only. In English, it is translated as only. But brother, that only is not in Nama. Because in Nama, we say, it confines what we are talking about that person. And the meaning is now very, very confined and limited and restricted. In Nama, Ana, Basharun, Mithlukum. What is the meaning of that? Allah is staying, saying to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hul, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say, I am only a human being like you. That's all. Means, I am not an angel. I do not have supernatural powers. I am only a human being like you. Means, I need air to breathe. I need food to eat. I need to sleep. I can get sick. I need clothing. I want to marry. I want to have children. Huh? And I have to go to washroom. All these things are associated with human being. Are you with me? Just plain human being. Okay? So I am only a Bashar like you. And I am not a supernatural person. Or I am not a Malaika. I am not an angel. This is the meaning of Ennama Ana Basharun Mishlukum. So Ennama confines the person. Ana. It confines the person and it restricts that you are nothing but a bashar. You cannot go out of this. Are you with me, brother? It confines the meaning of the one whom we are talking. In Nama, Ana. So who are you? Bashar. Khalas. We confine that meaning. Nothing else. Uh, are you with me, brothers and sisters? So it has got a, a strong, you know, power and message when you use in Nama. We are going to learn, inshallah. This is very beautiful, brothers and sisters. Okay? Now, Tadukhulu in Nama ala jumlataini ismiyati wal fialiyati. I just explained to you, brother. Inna can only come in jumla ismiya, but in Nama can come in both, brother. In namas sadakatu lil fukra. Now this is Quran, brother. What is the meaning of it, brother? Sadaka, charity is only for poor, nobody else. Huh? Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam never accepted anything. Huh? You want to give charity, give to poor people. And when people gave him, he gave to poor people. You know, so in namas sadakatu, huh? the charity is only for, only, only, only for pe poor people. Maybe you want to say a half a dozen time only to make the, uh, the intensity of in nama. Okay? Next one, brother and sister. In namal amalu binyam. Brothers and sisters, the action are judged. What did I say? Your actions are judged only 
by your intentions, khalas, nothing else. Huh? Your actions are judged, will be judged by what is in your heart. If your heart has some other notions and you are just showing off by those actions, then there is no thawab for it. Innama sadaqatu lil fukra is from Surah Tawbah. So, innama al-a'malu bin niya, this is hadith. This is hadith, brother. Again, beautiful verse, brother. Innama yamaru masajid allahi man amana billahi wal yawmil akhiri. Who is going to make masajid of Allah? Only, only those people who believe in Allah. Huh? And who believe in Yom al Akhra. They are the people who are only going to build masajid. But here, brothers and sisters, as I said, Amara uh, Yamuru, not only to build, but to maintain it, to furnish it. It, it carries on. That action of maintaining the masjid is carried on and on, on a regular basis. Who will do it? Only those who believe in Allah and who believe in Yawm al Akhirah. You got the message, brother? Tufido in Nama. Now, here is an Arabic explanation, brother. Tufido in Nama Tayjina. What is Tayjina? Can you look at it? Masta. What is the verb? Ayyana. You ayjinu. Form 2. Tufidu means pinpoints or indicates. Taijina huh? means specifying. Huh? Huh. Specifying. Yujibu. What is the meaning of yujibu? It imposes. What kind of a verb is this? Awujaba. What is it? Awujaba. What is the mean, uh, verb, brothers and sisters? Awujaba. Mudarya Yujibu To import, impose something. Huh? What is the meaning of Avjaba Yujibu? To enjoin something, to impose something. Okay? Well, you, Yujibu Ifbata. Okay? What is the meaning of Ifbata? Confirmation, establishing something. Huh? Al huk, that is the ruling. Lil maskur, what is the meaning of maskur? Mentioned. Okay. So, what is the translation, brother? Innama indicates, it specifies, huh? the ruling of the thing that is mentioned, it confirms it, okay? It imposes it. Whatever is mentioned, that thing is being conf confirmed and made compulsory by Innama. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Wa Nafia. What is Nafia? This is Mastar. This is Mafulun Bihi. Nafyun. This is the master from Nafa Yanfi. Huh? Nafya is right on master, brothers and sisters. Otherwise you will you know forget it. Huh? It's a master. Inkar. What is it? Nafya? Inkar. What is inkar? I'm not talking about Urdu word. Inkar is if al. Ankara yunkiru. Also to deny. Huh? And nafya means to deny. Ghairi hazil hukum. Other than this ruling about it. Are you with me? So it only confirms what is being mentioned. And it establishes that. Uh, and it denies everything else about it. Got my point, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. So, fa kawluna, our saying, innama huwa muhandisun. Yufidu annahu muhandisun fakat. Walaysa fihi sifatun ukhra. He doesn't have 
any other attributes. He is only engineer. He is not a teacher. He is not a doctor. He is not a lawyer. He is nothing. He is only engineer. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? Now, I think I will leave it here, brothers and sisters. Huh? Because I want to explain you lakat properly again. Huh? I will explain you this properly. Okay, so we end here now, brothers and sisters. And tomorrow we'll finish the last two pages of uh, this lesson, and we'll start from three. We'll start from three now, inshallah. Huh? Inshallah, will be very interesting, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa taala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. I wrote down something that we studied yesterday. Innama tufidu hasar al ma'ana fi man natahaddafu anhu. What is it, brother? It establishes, huh? it indicates huh? the ruling mentioned in the sentence. And then it denies other rulings, you know. To the exclusion, you can say, or, huh? you can also say, or, brothers and sisters, to the exclusion of all other qualities and ruling. You know? And the example, okay, in Nama Ana Basharun Mithluku. I'm only a Bashar. There are no other qualities or rulings in me. That's it. So you confine that idea that Bashar, okay, that's it. So in other words, I gave last time a circle, brother. This is a circle. You can find the ruling. Huh? Huh? Ana basharun. Basharun, that's it. Nothing else. All other qualities and rulings are denied. Huh? That is the meaning of innama. Huh? Okay. Next one, brothers and sisters. Wallahi lakad farihatu kathiran. Here, kathiran is mafulun mutlak. Farhan kathiran. Okay? That is uh, mahzush. Inshallah, we'll study it soon. Huna farihtu, brothers and sisters, huna farihtu kathiran jawabul kasmi. What is it? Jawabul kasmi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. So whenever there is a kasam, there is a jawabu kasam. Okay. Iza kana, now brother, iza is a shart. Uh, where is fellow shart? Kana. With iza, ismu shart, gairu jazimin. It does not give jazam to anybody. And iza will translate, will make the fail madi into present and future. Is a kana, no kana is a was. But he will say, if it is. Huh? If the jawab of kasam. Okay, brother. What is the ismu kana? Where is the ismu kana? Jawab. Are you with me? Ismu kana is jawab. If the jawab of kasam is, what is it? Now, jumlatan is your khabar kana. Jumlatan, then the naat. Fialiyatan. Muthbatan, affirmative. Musaddaratan huh? means coming in the beginning. All or not. We fail in madin. So, brother, the jawabu kasam will start with fail madi. Okay? Fail madi. Okay. Ukkida. What is ukkida? Emphasize. Uh, this is majhul. Akkada. You akkidu. This is ukkida. Madi. Felun madin lil majhul. Means it is emphasized. What is the madi, brother and sister? Akkada. Uh, you akkidu. Form. Form two. Do not get confused. Huh? What is it? 
What is it? Fahum to. Akkada. Make it majhul. Ukkida. Majhul. It is emphasized. Now make mustard. Taqid. Taqid. There is another verb, taqid, is there. But this is taqid. Same meaning, Sister Sukhaina. Taqid and taqid meanings are same. And they are both mustard. Okay, brothers and sisters, ukidat belam vakat. You emphasize with lam and kat. Kama fi kawli ta'ala, wa tini, wa zaytuni, wa turi sinina, wa hazal baladil amin, lakad. What is this lakad? Lam, lam, brothers and sisters, is for jawabu kasam. And kad is, huh? because fail madi is coming, we are emphasizing. Huh? So, where is the fail madi? Khalaka. Huh? Because khalaka is fail madi, now we can have uh, la kad. Huh? Uh, kad especially. Okay? La, la, lam is for jawabu kasam, inshallah. You will remember this. And there will be many, many examples coming uh, in our way, brother. Lakat khalakal insana fi ahsani takveem. Okay. Ij al kulla jumlatin mimmayati jawaban lil kasam. This is very easy, brother. Farihtu bi ziyaratika. What is the meaning of it? I became happy with your visit. Eh? By your visit. So how will you now Put uh, Qasam and Lakad. Wallahi Lakad. Are you with me? Wallahi Lakad Farihtu bi diyaratika. Got the idea? It's very simple. You must understand why you are using Lakad. Because of the Qasam and because verb is Madi. Okay? Inshallah. Kultu li hakaza. What will you say? Kultu si madi. What will you say? Wallahi lakad kultu liha. But this is very easy, brother. Next one, brother. Raituhu fi suq. Wallahi lakad raituhu fi suq. Easy, brother and sisters. Amsa min akhwati kana. Takulu amsaitu maridan. Ay adrakani. Masau wa ana maridun. Are you with me? Adrakani masau wa ana maridun. Okay? So amsa yumsi. Okay? To become. It is also sister of Kana. But again, I must tell you if you only say I, I entered the evening. Then it is felutamun. Then it will have file. But when you use it in the meaning of to become, then it becomes akhwatukana. Then we will have ism and khabar. Now, the verse of the Quran that we studied, Subhanallah, hina tumsuna, wahina tusbihuna. In that case, it was a felutam. But this is such a beautiful verse. The more you think about it. Huh? I was thinking about this. Even our salah, we pray five times. What is it, brother? It's a glorification of Allah. What you do in salah, you glorify Allah. Are you with me? So, when you enter evening, so here, that vow is file. Huh? So, when you say, Heina tum suna, that tum suna is fail tamun. The vow is file. Tusbihuna, because you are talking about entering evening and morning, not becoming. So it is fail tamun. And that vow in both cases is file. But if you say, 
am saytu maridan now that tu is ismu ams huh? okay i became sick ar asbahtu maridan means in the morning i became sick huh? so in that case the tu will be ismu aswa and maridan will be the khabar huh? keep that in mind but it's not difficult but keep these things in mind by the time we finish book 3 you will have over 100 of small small rulings of grammar that you will have to keep it in mind and once you revise the book and once we study quran and watch for these things inshallah it will become part of you you will never forget inshallah and quran we got to read it all the time huh? so we are linked with the quran as long as we are breathing brothers and sisters as long as we are breathing on this earth we are linked with quran till the end of our last breath inshallah inshallah okay brothers and sisters so here adkhil amsa ala aljumlat atiyati enter amsa in the following sentences aljawu mu'tadilun what is the meaning of mu'tadilun moderate ha moderate ha huh? what form is this mu'tadilun form eight well, brother uh, hasan what is mu'tadilun is it madhi mudariya amr what is it mu'tadilun mu so it has to be some fail or ism maful where do you see the kasra ha huh? ain Huh? Are you with me? Where do you see the kasra? Dal. So what is dal? It is your ain kalima. Are you with me? It is your ain kalima. So it is ismu fa'il. Huh? Look for these things, brother, and come up with quick answers. Are you with me? Uh, you should come up with quick answer. Let me assure you, you will all become masters with little effort and practice. Inshallah. How will you now put amsa? Amsa al jawu muata dilan muata dilan. Are you with me? So muata dilan will become khabar amsa, and jawu will become ismu amsa. Now this is tricky. Nahnu mutabuna mutabuna. What is the meaning of mutabuna? Tired and exhausted. Huh? But abun is jama mudaka salim. Now remember, nahnu. How will you put amsa? Amsaina. So now will become isam amsa. And what will happen to but abuna? But abina, because you got to make it mansub now. Huh? Jama mudaka salim. But abuna, but abina, but abina. Got it, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you will write it. Al maridatu daifatun. What is the translation of al maridatu daifatun? The sick person happens to be a mourner. Huh? She is weak. Huh? So how will you use amsa? Huh? See, remember now the ismu. Amsa is going to be a mournness. Ready? Let us conjugate. Let us conjugate. Amsa, amsa ya, amsa, amsat. What will you say? Amsat. Huh? What will you say, brothers and sisters? Amsat. How will you write down? am sat al abab al amsatil maridatu ha huh? are you with me tawtani si ha huh? amsatil maridatu dai fa tan mansub okay inshallah Got it, huh? Inshallah. 
Next one, brothers and sisters. Arib. What is this? Arib. Philemon. What is Mahdi? Arab. Arab. And Morab comes from here. Okay. Arab means do the grammatical analysis. Arab. Yes. Arab. Arab. Either two meanings. Either you decline the noun, or you do the grammatical analysis. See, when you say the noun is morab, means it declines. Okay? So here, arab will mean that you do the grammatical analysis. Okay? Jumlata. Do the grammatical analysis of the sentence. What is the sentence? In Nabi Suda an Shadidan. Thumma. And then, Ajib Anil Asilatil Atiati. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now let us do the Arab. Huh? In. Huh? What is next one? B. What is next one? And then. Fine, brother. How will you describe inna, harfu, tawkid, wa nasbin? Huh? What is B? First, we will say B, harfja. What is B? Harfja. Fine. B, you know inna, I'll write on. Huh? Harfu, tawkid, din, wa nasbin. Huh? B, B is harfu jar. Okay? And then, what is ya mutakallam? How will you describe ya mutakallam? Ism majroor. Huh? Ya mutakallam is huh? ism majroor. I don't have space and I don't have time, but I will say verbally. How will you describe ya mutakallam? Damirun, Motasilun, Mabniun ala, Sukun, Fi Mahali, Jarrin, Isam Majroor. One more time I'll say. Ya, Damirun, Motasilun, Mabniun ala, Sukun, Fi Mahali, Jarrin, Isam Majroor. Okay, fine. Sudan. Uh, ismu inna mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al-fatah uh, and shadidan naat mansubun got the idea? inshallah there is another handout I don't know whether I showed it to you or not uh, it is also available it has got everything uh, Arab is done in detail inshallah I'll show you so now We have this example, brothers and sisters. Now you make sentences. Ala hmm? gerariha means mithaliha. Mustamilan using asma al amradi, al mafkurati, the names of the sickness mentioned. Baina kawthaini. What is it? Baina Kausaini. Okay, fine. What is it? Zukamun. Okay. Maghthun. Sualun. Ishalun. Sudaun. Dualun. Okay. What is Zukam, brothers and sisters? Cold. Huh? Very common word in Urdu. But it is Arabic. Maghthun means, brothers and sisters, Alamun. Fil batni, huh? stomach pain. Huh? Alamun fil batni. Huh? Alamun What is this? Magasun. And what is brother? Sualun, 
Kaf. Kafing. So Alun is Kafing. Okay. Is Halun diarrhea? Huh? Loose motion. Huh? Sudaun headache. Huh? Duarun dizziness. Duarun is dizziness. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. So here is an example. We got to follow this example. Mada bika ya Ali. Now Ali has to answer. So what will he say? Inna bi sudaan shadidan. See, inna bi. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Akuka and your brother. Mada bihi. So can you see bihi? So what will he say now in the sentence? Inna bihi zukaman shadidan. You will say zukaman. Why zukaman? And not zukamun? Because it is ismu inna mansub. Be he is jar majrur, it is shibu jumla. I have to write down here, brothers and sisters. I forgot to write here. I beg your pardon. I have to write down ism majrur and then shibhu jumla ti. Now I'm writing in detail. Fi mahalli. Rough in Khabar in. Got the idea? Uh, I forgot to write down this. Now, this is the complete uh, analysis of the Innabi Sudha. Okay. Now, Maza Bikum, uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, what's the problem with you? Maza bikum. No, bikum will become bina. Tere bina kya jiyenge? So, bina. Are you with me? Bina. Maza bikum will become bina. So, what will you say? In bina magasan shadidan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Uhtuka. Maza biha. So what will you say? Inna biha. So alan shadidan. Haulai tulabu. Maza bihim. So what will you say now? Inna bihim. Inna bihim. Inna bihim is halan shadidan. Got it, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. How will I talibatu? Maza bihinna. What will you say? Inna bihinna. Sudaan shadidan. Maza biki yasuat. This is a sister, brothers and sisters. Maza biki yasuat. Inna bi duaran shadidan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? We proceed, inshallah. Zahabun masdaru zahaba. Wa huwa ala wazni fa'alun. See, now Dr. Abdurrahim will bring different patterns of masta. And we got to keep them in mind. So there is a pattern of masta fa'alun. So zahaba zahabun. Are you with me? Hatil master, give master, mina fall il atiati, ala wazni fa'alun. For the following verbs, brother and sister. Najaha yanjahu najah. Success. Najah, success, brother. Fasada yafsudu fasad. Are you with me? Fasad. Okay. Nafida yanfadu. Nafad, to run out, huh? to become exhausted. Huh? Nafad, dalla, to go astray. Yadillu, dalalun, huh? going astray. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you'll do it and write it down properly. Next one, brothers and sisters, is. Uh, 
tariqun jamahu turukun wa jamahu turukun turukatun are you with me so what is going on here we have one jama and then there's another jama wa yusamma hadhal wa yusamma hadha jamal jamai what do you call it yusamma hadha and you call this what do you call it jama jamai ilayka amsilatan ukhra so here is a jama and then there is a jama al jama huh? okay makan are you with me brothers and sisters makan what is jama of makan amkinatun and what is jamul jama amatin no brothers and sisters the meaning does not change huh? so do not get confused we are going to read the key after this sivarun Huh? Asviratun. What is Sivarun? Bangles. Bangles. Huh? And Asaviru. Are you with me? Mafailu. Asaviru. Inaun pot. Utensil. Huh? Aniyatun. Aniyatun. And then Awanin. What is Awanin? Mankus. So what is in reality avani you avani you Yes of course a noun is one pot and then pots huh? Okay brother yadun yadun what is the jama aidin again it is mankus huh? and then ayadin is the jamal jama okay fine now let us go to the key so that you have a good idea brothers and sisters huh? i will be reading key from time to time now onwards and you will keep the key handy in front of you okay brother page 79 number 10 the plural of tarikun is turukun and the plural turukun is turukatun this is called jamul jama plural of plural some nouns have what is it some nouns not all the nouns some nouns have jamul jama okay makanun place amkinatun and then amakinu sivarun bracelet asviratun and then asaviru got the idea brothers and sisters yadun Aidin and then Ayadin. Now, generally the meaning is same. Are you with me? The meaning does not change. Only in few cases, the meaning changes, huh? and that dictionary will help us. But normally, the meaning remains same. Does not change. Okay. The Jamo Jama mostly has the meaning of plural. same meaning okay but in some cases it has a different meaning avada asan only in some cases the meaning can change what is the meaning of aidin hands what is the meaning of ayadin favors huh? see the meaning change in some cases huh? not always huh? fine brother baitun buyutun and then buyutatun so buyutin means houses then what is the meaning of buyutatun respectable families uh, the meaning change but not all, all the time uh? so we have to inshallah keep that in mind okay brothers and sisters where are we now adkhil kull kalimatin mimma yati fi jumlatin mufidatin narzafa what is the mudariya junazifu what is the amar nazif which we should have no problem in uh, saying that and understanding it clearly in our mind okay to clean inshallah you will uh, 
uh, be able to do it at home? Huh? Make simple sentence. Okay, think of it. You tell your child, clean the bedroom. Nazir. <laughs> okay. Huh? Gurfata Naomi. Huh? Or we can say, clean your bedroom. Nazif Gurfata Naomi Ka. Are you with me? Gurfata, see, Mansu, Muda, Naomi Ka. Let me write down this. Huh? Okay. Kalat um. Kalat ummi, Nazif, Gurfata, Nao, Mi, Ka. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. You will try to make simple sentence. Ahdara. What is the meaning of Ahdara? Form 4. Yuhdiru. To bring. And what will be the Amar? Ahdir. Huh? Inshallah you'll do it. Jawwala. To travel extensively. This is a very nice sentence, brother. Jawaltu fi masharikil ard wa magharib. I have traveled extensively throughout the world, brother and sister. Amsa, of course. Huh? Amsaitu maridan. I became sick in the evening. Okay. Innama oh, oh, oh. You can use the sentence from the Quran, that's fine. Huh? Huh? Inshama. Insha. Huh? Fine, Bansa. Ari. Huh? Ari ni kitabaka. Huh? Show me your book. So, inshallah, you'll write it, brothers and sisters. Fine. Tamarinun shafaviyun. Huh? Oral exercise. Yakulu huh? talibu. A student says, a brother and sister, Sayarjiul Modiru Gadan inshallah. He said, the headmaster will return tomorrow. Aw Shayan Mislahu. Wa Yakulu Lahu Zamili. And his colleagues tell him, Wa ma adraka annahu yarjiu gadan. And how do you know what made you? Uh, informed huh, that he is coming tomorrow. What will be the answer for Yakulu? He will reply. Samiyatul Murakiba. I heard the Murakib. Yakulu Zalik saying that. Now this is an exercise. We got to do it among ourselves. Huh? Please try to do it if you get a time. Huh? You say something. Sayarji o Abi min Landana. Hazal ispua. So you can say, Mama Draka Annahu Yarjiu Hazal ispua. What will you say? Takulu Ummi Zalika. Mother said that. So you know, think of some sentence and create your dialogue, inshallah. What is the verb? Adara Yudri. What is the verb? Adara. Ka is mafulun bihi, brother. Adara yudri. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we finished the lesson. And now we start huh, a new lesson.